It's Wonderwall. Anyway. I really I'm deafened, and I just heard, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Anyway, I would like it more. to be known. I did not drop the whole cake. I dropped a small slice, a small slice onto my you, guest. You okay. Dropped the whole cake. Okay. The whole cake is safe. You're lying to the people. Stop dropped the whole spreading cake. misinformation. Quibla, you you on just the said internet. that you were going to eat the whole thing. There's no way you I took a slice. You're lying. Mm -hmm. I sliced mm -hmm. it, dude. No. Everything. Dude, he's just the cake. Altered footage. <laughs> Altered footage. <laughs> I actually bought two cakes just Big in case. News. Just like there you go. There you go. See, uh, hey everybody, welcome Big to the hey Doctor Nick. Sorry, <laughs> who the fuck is Doctor Nick? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck oh, are you Simpsons. on? What is Simpsons, Simpsons reference? Yeah. yeah, dude, I haven't seen Hi, Simpsons. Hi everybody. Oh right, Hi, Hi, yeah. Nick. yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, welcome to Dungeon Selects, guys. It's Sunday. We're here, uh, and um, before anything else, Charity Select is here, which means that uh, there are now panels in place and a, an and a space mark charity command for all the information you need on this uh the fundraiser for the next 30 days 31 days 30 days 30 days right 30 30, 30 i think 30 days 36 um, okay we're raising money for special effects october 15th to november 15th yeah. however many days that yeah, is exactly um, at least seven 31 we, uh last night we kicked it off with a, a big among us sesh with uh, a bunch of the people a bunch of the creators that are going to be raising money for special effects throughout this uh, this period and uh Ended off the first night with uh, a little over 200 pounds raised already, which is awesome. 220 pounds. 220. To be exact. Um, so that's fucking exciting as shit. Uh, we don't have the overlays set up for this stream, obviously, because it's a little difficult to have that look good for this D&D setup we have. But um, we also won't get alerts for the donations, but there is a charity link and there is a, there's all that stuff. So you can donate to charity if you want. We'll, we'll address it again after our break to remind people and all the good stuff. I'll um, be periodically checking, so at break and at the end, if we get donations, we can thank people. Hell yeah, sounds good. Uh, with that out of the way, any other announcements that we want to... Obviously. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Along with Charity Select, one of the incentives I'm offering is... I was always planning on streaming this, which is a D&D &D 5e adventure in the Feywild. It's like a Feywild wedding inspired by Jane Austen vibes, like a mini series probably like three to four episodes, um, solving a murder at a wedding. And I was always going to stream it, but what the, we made the incentive, and I believe it was someone here gave me the idea to do it. Um, if we hit I, somewhere around 1,800 pounds, I will stream it, and myself and every cast member in it will be in costume, in like either Feywild wedding-inspired attire or Jane Austen-inspired attire. Yeah, it was Ethan who came up with it. So if you want to see this, uh, you want to see this adventure, which I know you do, but you want to see it where everybody's dressed up and we fancy, Looking dapper. then share the charity. And the other announcement is my, the D&D campaign I'm currently running, which is why we can't jump right into this one right away, finally comes back next week. Let's We've been go. on a very long break because of, <laughs> of just life and scheduling. Laura had like week, five million weddings to go to. <laughs> that, that's why I have no voice today, by the way. The final Everyone wedding. she knows is getting married. Literally. <laughs> Fucking literally. That or having babies. And bleh, gross. So, yeah. D&D, yeah. called another deep next Saturday on my channel. I get Let's to go. DM. Dutch gets to play. It's going to be a good time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Say it canceled. Just wait. Don't even I joke. Will fucking I cry. swear to God. I will literally <laughs> sob myself to sleep. I will cry and cry. Uh, other than that, uh, on the on, on the note of one shot and stuff, there is going to be a, a follow up to the Witcher one shot we did last uh, charity campaign. With the same cast of characters, uh, it was the tail end of the uh, uh, fundraiser. I believe I said like the week of like seven, no, November seventh or something week of the like 7th, that week. I believe, yeah. yeah. Um, so keep an eye out okay. for that. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome. Um, November tenth. November tenth. There we go. Date of the Witcher one shot. That's gonna be awesome. I might do something else as far as like a D and D one shot for charity goes, but I'm fucking busy as shit, so I might not be able to to do that uh, this time around. But I'll keep you guys posted. It's uh, it's busy hours out here. Uh, I also and there's various D and D related incentives for um, charity select. Like Ethan has some D and D related ones. Sure. Uh, so I have one, Dutch one. So I'll get the link for the incentive list. Go ahead and check it out if you want to see the various tabletop RPG related incentives for that. Mm -hmm. I still have COVID. I don't have any symptoms, but I still have COVID, and I'm kind of pissed because so, that means that I can't go to my internship this week and I can't go to class this week, which fucking sucks because I really want to because I need to do so much shit. But I'm pissed. Only COVID had hit after Call of Duty released. 
Who knows, man? By that time, if I might go for round three. Who knows? Um, By that nah. time, you might just be pouring. Sprite I mean, like, I'm happy. Apple. I'm happy to not have any like symptoms, but uh, I, I'm do I do be carrying the virus, so you know. Whatever, and, I guess. I mean, at least it's better than getting symptoms, right? Yeah, like first time I was yeah. fucking. Feel, I felt like death the yeah. first time around. It was fucking crazy. I was just like, I just felt so sick for like a week, to wait uh, like seven to eight days, and that's when I finally started to get better. So. The worst is the chills when you just go like super hot and then you're super cold like yeah, two minutes later. Yeah, hot flashes. Dude, the worst. it fucking sucked. It's fucking blue. Um, I heard that Sprite will make a Tesco positive. Is that true? Is that I've true? heard the rumor, so... That's weird. Uh, that's fucking If weird. anyone needs work? time off. The rumor, fuck? have rumor Dude, I only find have out. five days to play cotton until I leave anyways. It's crazy. Yeah, oh, I, it's, it's definitely not a false positive though because I, I always, when I test myself, I always do two just in case and both of them were positive, so... Dad. Uh, if someone wants to give me COVID so I can get out of jury duty tomorrow, sick. You got jury duty? <laughs> I have jury duty. Hopefully, I don't get chosen just because it's like I basically just miss a week of working and making money. I think it's pretty and easy to get out of jury duty. You've heard day. facts about the case already, well, and therefore. No, 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 no. See, that doesn't get you out of it necessarily, though, because sometimes the lawyers want to try and stack the. They'll try and stack the jury with people they think will go with their side, right? So potentially that could actually make you more likely to get chosen. Can you be a juror they, if you have a wild. felony? No. Uh, no and I'm like, I'm like number like 12 on the docket or something like that, so I'm almost definitely going to get chosen. Pretty bad. Rip, dude. Um, so, uh, send COVID. I got you, bro. I'm just uh, just go over real quick. Hey. I'll cough in your mouth or something. <laughs> um, Let me come fly over for two grand. Just hopefully. to get COVID. <laughs> and, then not, <laughs> and then you're not allowed to fly back, so you're just stuck here for like two weeks. <laughs> I'd, be cool, you, I'd be cool with that. And then cool you miss that. work anyway when the whole point was to not be work. <laughs> oh, shit. I just get a fucking get a fucking job going here with the fucking Uber Eats for the next two weeks, bro. You'll, you'll be <laughs> fucking. Um right. Um Does anyone else el anyone else? Anyone else have anything that they want to announce before we uh, get into the recap? I'm definitely not gonna eat a whole cake this session. He's lying. Well Pretty no, because you're gonna have one. to cut out the bit that you dropped. I ain't, I ain't fucking, I already carved the bit I dropped, I fucking ate it already, it's in my belly! So you already ate the slice, so you're definitely gonna eat another one. Maybe like three, maybe like four. Yeah. The entire cake's gone, by the end of this. It's gone. It was it's a gone. good cake, it was a little dry though. It's not How much do you want to bet that he drops another piece of cake before the end in of this? I mean, I mean, I'm going to drop a bit of cake, it's going to happen. Oh, what you the drop it on the hoodie that I sent you? Yeah, I paid right. for hoodie, technically. Anyhow, <laughs> last we left off, uh, the party of adventurers aboard the porcupine, finished the last leg of their trip to get to the islands where it is believed uh, that the trident uh, that belongs to Umberly is being kept. Um, they had to fight a giant rock, a, a larger-than-life uh, sea titan, as they are called, uh, just larger-than-life birds uh, that like to make their nests out of ships, complete villages. Uh, they're, they're big, they're massive, they're huge! Um, uh, but after surviving the, the, the trial, the, the third omen, it turns out that uh, these three omens are a machination of uh, Deep Sashilas, one of the uh, water-based deities um, that kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum uh, compared to Umberly. Uh, it is th that was his way of testing to see basically if these people cannot survive these trials, there's no shot in hell that they're gonna make it out of that place that they're going alive uh, and as a reward you all got a cute little dolphin pin that um apparently for the next seven days just gives you uh, a, a significant boost in your stats to uh to you know to help you turn the tide while facing what's to come you like that you like that a week right you like that nice, nice. nice one uh a week yeah last a week seven days uh so if basically by the time you get back to Aldalon, that's probably when the effects will fade, roughly, give or take. Um, right. You made it to the island uh, and found there to be a small settlement, a small village made of uh, the remains of a shipwreck. Uh, a shipwreck that belonged to the people that now live in that village, the crew uh, of a ship called the Bold Venture. Uh, and now they named the village Boldville. Uh, it's kind of cute. Kind of, you know, they're making do. Uh, you met with some of the people there and also got introduced to their leader, uh, their former captain, now Mayor uh, Jackson Keir, a uh, hulking, large, um, humanoid uh, 
you assume, Goliath, uh, due to him kind of towering over the rest of the people there that are all human. Uh, and after kind of waving an escape off the island in his face, he decided to tell you the truth about how things really go on the island, that they function as scouts, as, as a lookout post for for unreleased chosen, unreleased champion that, that, how, that, that lives and protects uh, the sanctuary underneath the island. Um, and discuss with you some plans. You are not to leave the village because if uh, unreleased chosen finds out that they've been helping you, they'll surely all die. They are to report you, uh, your presence to Umberly's Chosen, and you are then to be taken away by uh, a, a large number of, of fish-like bipedal creatures. Um, the word has been sent. He said that it will take a few hours, so probably by, by, by nightfall, by, 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 eve, by the fall of the evening, um, They'll arrive, so you have a few hours to kind of discuss a plan, kind of go into more depth of what you want to do, how you want to do it, uh, and have oh, some great. food, and just kind of... Discussing plans. Yeah, so it is now roughly midday. Um, uh, well, a couple hours after midday, actually. You're in Boldville, a small little picturesque village made by whatever scraps of wood of the shipwreck they could salvage. But you are now aware of what's about to happen, and uh, that might give you an edge. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I already, at the end of last session, um, I would have ritual cast Lumen's Tiny Hut, just so we've got eight hours, I'm just going to sit in the dome, just so it's like a sort of shaded side place, a little bit cooler. Does it protect, <laughs> right. like, sound too? Like, if no. we were talking in there, they wouldn't hear no. us? No? Okay. They can... Oh, um, Dutch. Hello. I wasn't here last session, but would I... Um, have been able either with passive perception or you can make me roll for it. Do I have any in inclination that these people understand uh, sign language? Like if I was ever talking to Kess and they caught it or anyone seemed to know what we were doing? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Obviously it's not a guarantee, but... Okay. Noted. Um, so, uh, so we talked about Kess going in a vessel, right? Yep. Um, uh, Keith, Keir, uh, hmm? Jonathan, Jackson, Jackson, um, uh, how enough. long does the, uh, uh, walk take for them to take us wherever they go? Not really sure, to be honest, but, uh, the, the men that I sent to wherever they need to go to, to tell them that alone is a few hours walk, so a few hours, probably. At least, unless they take someone else, I'm not sure. I've never been taken. Okay, it'll, it'll be a while. Ruins, ruins my plan. Okay. Um. I guess we'll just leave Cass on our own then. Assign the Cass. Wait, why? Why are we leaving? We're, you we're on not your own? leaving Cass on our own. That's. Oh, no. What I mean is to break us out. Uh, so I don't think we have any the, the suggestion was Cass goes into the vessel. They are of course gonna take all our shit when they when they come to pick us up. So the vessels are gonna get carted around amongst our weapons, the holy symbol for a lot whatever well, we I'll need, still right? Have my armor and Okay, but Cass oh. can then pop out of the vessel. She's A, not going to be being kept wherever we're being kept, and B, going to be able to at least know where all our fucking shit is, if not bring some of the important stuff before, rather than having to just break her way in to get us out. Uh, I... Well, I can actually get us out of, like, a cell. Uh, I'll sign to Cass. Well, it's a few hours. He mentioned a few hours. Transport. Why don't we try and escape on the way there rather than wait till we're then brought somewhere and because we need up. to be inside. We we need to get inside uh, we anyway. Need to get inside. So rather than okay. fighting our way it. in, we might as well let them lead us in. Mm -hmm. It'll be easier to fight our way out than fight our way in. We think. Uh, I will, and they won't be 
And oh, no, I don't know if we kill the leader, the had. rest might just run. No. I shouldn't have replied to that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, true. It's fine. We'll, we'll pretend it's fine. Cast I thought it was, I thought it was a lower question. It's fine. <laughs> it was kind of both. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest. We spend the next two minutes relaying that information. Yeah. <laughs> Cast exposition. Yeah. <laughs> um, I could probably sneak a, a, some type of rock picks in to the cell with us. Uh, if Kes can get our stuff and then we can try to meet up. The only thing I hate about this plan is relying on Kes to get our stuff for us and not just steal it. What <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Do you think I... I'm some kind of monster? Yes. I'll, 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 I'll steal well, uh... all your stuff. Yes. Trying again to Kes. Yeah. Can are you at the point yet where any of us can join you in the vessel or no, not yet? Oh, dang it, because if you could fit one more person, then we could have, you know, at least two people on the outside. But hey, in our situation, I, well, my, I, say not, I, I, can... I don't oh, fucking hell, Jax. <laughs> what? I was just gonna say I don't think really Kes would have much opportunity to steal our shit and go anywhere with it. Right? You yes. you I'm gonna sneeze, and I. It's, oh my god, it's right there. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Fuck, I hate my Well, Davian, oh. she can put all of her stuff in the vessel, no? Well, I don't know. Actually. I don't know. Of all, all the crazy can things that Kess tells us, it's, it's, it can I steal your stuff? Yeah. Kess, do you plan to steal our stuff? Why? Why are we? Why are you asking? Of, like, you, like, no, no, no. no. Yes, what if we Kess gave her all of our really stuff? Really tell now. the truth here. Hmm. I would hope that Kess is. Learned a lesson about I, lying no. to his I, fucking people. You, you see, you see, uh, Dagon's eyes people. go wide, and Dagon just starts waving like, "Oh, oh, idea!" Um, mm -hmm. and points at Kai, and then like kind of does like this, like miming like a fish swimming, like remembering when Kai was shape shifted, and then like eh, eh, to the girl, and then sign so a cast. Kai's gonna Kai swim back to the boat. No, but the point is, Kai can change into some sort of animal and follow us, and then you have one more person with you, because I'm hoping he can hold his shape for a decent amount of time. And then Kai could just be something stealthy and subtle and follow along, and then... Oh my god, did Kai, Kai, you, did Kai use one of his shape changes just in that one prank? Could you imagine? <laughs> well, it's special <laughs> rest. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's like, could you imagine? <laughs> did not recognize a single word that Dagon just signed. Nope. nope. Kai... <laughs> But Kai, how long can you yes. stay uh, shapeshifted? That's a very good question. <laughs> I could you shape too. Or... It's like half your druid level rounded down, I think, in hours. Hey, it's your I thought it was based on... Oh, it's, or it's your modifier round. I it's forgot modifier. Celestia was with us. I'm yeah, but Celestia, you can just, like, turn into stars, right? I can also turn into animals. Ah, there we go. I could also potentially... Animals um, for backup. Depending what the room we're in is made of if it's if we assume that it's just ground i could mold the earth and just excavate our way out kind of meet Kess halfway if you do turn into uh, an animal then davian can talk to you because that's a thing he can do true um i, I have an idea that's what if Kess put all of her stuff in her vessel and then we carried her vessel with us that's what we're Small, going to do in the right? first place i mean we always need to carry the vessel with the what wait what? Yes, no, the point of getting the vessel. Up, no, we have the vessel with us. I mean, I assume there's going to be some. Either way, you, Kess has you got can our give, stuff. You can <laughs> give Kess. That, yeah, but I we mean. have Kess. If we keep, if someone wears the vessel, yeah, Lazarin, yeah. you have to get to your. Uh, our stuff has to go somewhere. I'm not going to gonna steal your stuff. Murder. Isn't it going to look a little suspicious when they show up and we're completely unarmed and I have unequipped? Yeah. I have. This is. We don't have to put all our stuff in the vessel, just the important shit. I have enough weapons that I like to true. give you all... That's true. Oh, I, I did have a whole daggers. extra longbow, but... You don't I think I'll take own it. Set my bag down and begin methodically laying out... Uh, oh boy. Three all daggers, ten darts, uh, a hand axe, two hand axes, um, a grenade... My brass knuckles, another hand axe, a crowbar, a hammer. Why does this? Why does this sound like one of those games? You know where it's like 
you put a cloth over it, you gotta remember what's there. And it's like, I think there was a hammer, a crowbar. I'm just gonna so lay it all. Just, just look at it and just look at you. How do you carry all that stuff? Heavy? Well, the ba the daggers are here, here, and there. And the hand axes, sometimes I wear, sometimes I don't. The, the knuckle does just stay in my pockets because that makes sense. And the rest of it just stays in my bag. That makes sense. Right. Um, if we go somewhere where they take your weapons off you, they're going to think that I use daggers and take those off me. Maybe even the brass knuckles. I have a question. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, Brooks, but I mean, I don't know if anyone's going to assume you use daggers looking at you. I have a question. Do you yes. think our gear is going to be stored far away from our cage or in just one of the nearby areas? I mean, you would assume no you'd put it. You would assume you'd put it far away, right? It would be insane to put it right next to the cage in case people got to escape. Well, Not what I'm trying I to get imagine. at is, I could potentially. I read this book, right? Uh oh. And it was you know, where people were imprisoned, and it was fascinating. Actually, I don't know if it's real or not, but they were imprisoned and they dug a tunnel all the way from under underneath the place. I can I can excavate pretty. Rapidly, it's it doesn't really cost me any resources at all. I could also, while doing that, um, I can locate objects. So if I can pinpoint where it is, we can just dig our way there. It's nice to have that as a backup if if Kess screws up. But what the okay. fuck? <laughs> Always good we've to have got, a backup in case. We've got Kess to plan for every up. option, Kess. We're not saying you're going to scroll. These aren't things saying you're definitely going to do. We're yeah. just saying we, we, we don't ready know. for every don't possibility. Know. This champion's tied That's into different. the fucking. Bitch Queen, right? So we yes. don't know how much deity uh, help this champion's got. This champion might know everything about it and might know that Kess might be in the vessel. It might look for all this shit. So how or... does this sound? Well, Spend then it? they're going to have a fun time trying to get me out of it. Just how how does this sound it. then? An assigned to Kess. How about we have Kess and Kai, Kess via hiding in her vessel, and Kai shifting into a different creature just so Kess has someone with her. And you're still plan A to get us out, but then plan B, if you don't come in a timely fashion, is Celesti does tunnel thing, and then ask Kess to translate. So we have two options, plan A, plan B. I will do that. Plan K. Or depending plan... How, how they lock us up, I could go in as myself, but then yeah. shape shift to get rid of the change, and then go to the person that I feel like that can... Uh, Rescue the rest and just break them free, and then it goes How from there. How will you know where to go? Well, that's what I'm saying. Depending on how well, they result, can... because if we are all in the same thing, mm -hmm. I mean, historically we've not got a great track record with plans. I think having a vague idea works much better. We have a couple of a couple of, uh, of, of workshop ideas. Oh, right, that's me. Sorry, what? <laughs> I'll, sleep. I'll be. I'll... I'm gonna be honest, I zone out a little bit. Oh no, I forgot my question! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Looks like the dementia's sitting in, old man! <laughs> oh god. Whoa. What's going on? Uh, shit. You got shit? Well, we have a bush. There's a little hole oh, in it. I forgot my fucking question. You know what? <laughs> At the very least, he snapped out of his breakdown, so that seems good. Breakdown? Oh, d d I don't want to know. Um, well, it sounds like you've handled. Sorry. If you need me, just just you can find me at my house. Uh, good luck or something. I don't know. Appreciate. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you not killing me when I, you know, admitted what I admitted. That's uh, that's pretty nice of you, I suppose. You're welcome. It's not Good necessarily time. like a. We've not done it out of the goodness of our own hearts. We just, I think, we're all understanding of being in a shit situation and having shit options. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it, I get it. Trust me, I've been in a shit situation for the past two or three years, so... Oh, I thought it was just a case of, like, it serves us better to keep him alive. So I kind mean, of wish you would have waited with saying that until I was gone, to be honest. What? Now, so now, that, now that they're already on the way, technically it doesn't, but... It's not that suspicious if he stays alive. Right, I'm gonna go now. I oh, and um, before you go, uh, you. did you tell them how many of us there are? Uh, pfft, no, just a group of people. Very helpful. 
Good to know. Uh, thank you. We don't really go into specifics. We just, we just, I just send one of my men, and he goes, "Oh, his group of people arrived," and he comes back and has all the fishy folk with him, and they get taken away. If only we'd said one. We could have given them a lantern and then gone home. No, oh, that would have been so simple. Ah, uh, yes. He just, he just like. Is it like <laughs> slow walk away? Yep. <laughs> You know I'm 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 joking, Elasrin, right? Like this is I would have. If I was gonna give you away or otherwise betray you, I wouldn't say it openly in a public forum. I think you would to make me lower my guard. Could be a double bluff, yeah. Um yeah. guess. I'd yes. tell you straight away, Brooks, it was convenient. I'd, just... I'd tell you for time. Could you now. take the bag and <laughs> not steal anything from it? I have recorded every item in there. I expect them to be there. I hope you don't have any written okay. journals in there. Okay. Jax, if you lose anything, you can just tell me what it is and I can try and locate it. Mm. I mean... Does that work on other planes? Does that work on my sanity? Um, Sanity? No, because for the for me to locate something, it has to actually exist. Um, As far as other planes goes... Uh, no. Like if it's on another plane, you can't find it. Well, it has to be within a thousand feet of me, which I assume will, you know, will work in that in that layer. But uh, plus, I mean, Good to a thousand know. feet for the thing far. is a thousand feet. You're not, you know, unless you plan on swimming off the island. I'm pretty sure I can cover every every square inch of the. Oh place. yeah, I mean, how would I like teleport to a different plane? Just like at the drop of a hat, that would be crazy. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Just one period without any of this. Like, That's very vague. I don't know what you're referring to. When we're okay, back I'm on gonna... the ship, you can continue to be an idiot. This just one thing needs to go smoothly. I'm going to hand cast the bag of holding. Anyone else want me to take anything? After I put some other things in there. I mean, um, how full I'm... is the bag So, Kess is taking... It's got room. Keep... Hold on. Kess is taking the good shit. We're keeping... Yes, the bad shit. shit. Right. Oh, I'm keeping gold uh... my stuff. You can... <laughs> oh. so you mean, they they might steal really your gold. Safe. Celeste will so... hand pretty much all of her belongings over. Uh, and I'll, she keeps, I'll like, keep a it. spare bow and ten arrows on her on her person just to not I'll look give... like... Suspicious when yeah. they got when you got I'll, I'll give Kess the collapsible spear and I'll keep my other spear and my darts on me. So they are we are we putting in our caps or because that might be something they take off us, which Oh the caps of water breathing? Yeah, which yeah. we might need. Mine's already in the bag, so that's they're fish thing. people, so there might be water down there. We might need those. When it comes to items I'm attuned to, if I if they're they not on my take person. Them. You don't have the benefits. But you but don't do I have lose to reattune attune to them again? Okay. Mm. No. no, unless you unattune to it, I don't believe so. Well, yeah, I think I'm sure it's probably like if they're like... off your person for 24 hours or something. Uh, The attunement drops if the item has been more than 100 feet away for at least 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. That's so, okay. We'll so we'll we got a day. So um... I will put in my. Do I think they're going to take a necklace off me? That's what I'm, I'm in the same boat because I don't know if they're going to take my mantle and my bracelet. Uh, I'm sure they'll take my cloak, but well, the, um, it will still be able to locate it. No. The, the guy in charge it's used to be a pirate, right? So maybe Chinese old habits die hard. I will give yeah, him I'm gonna shove my cloak scimitar in the bag. wounding and his uh, sentinel shield and he will keep his normal scimitar on him. So he has something oh. they, can, they, can, they can take away from him. I'm yeah. also going to give over my, um, I still have my voucher for a 500 golds worth of three sisters trinkets. <laughs> I'm going to give that and put that away because they might be like, sweet. This is for Don't want to have them take my coupons. Don't know where it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hand over my, my, gold. Oh my, my nature's mantle and my longbow of entangle. <laughs> Uh, I will like, tuck fucking... in my my just my uh, religious symbol just like into my like clothing a bit more. Oh shit! I'm mm. also 
I'm gonna I'm keep only one stuff. vial, only one vial on me, and I'm gonna try and hide it really well, and I'm gonna put the rest of my vials of my thoughts and prayers drink in the bag of holding. Uh, I'll, I'll, oh, I, oh, that's so gross, but I'm like, I'm trying to think, is there any other way I could hide that better? I don't He's know. a hairless cat, there might be like a, a skin a fold? somewhere. Like I mean, everybody of... has a prison wallet. Yeah. <laughs> that's the joke I made. Um, no, you know what I'm gonna do? How big are the, like, in your head, Dutch, because I want to just magically resize base. them. In my head, they're like the I little, because they're single, you, no, they're single. Uh, yeah, the one I'm putting away are bottles. Oh, you're right, you poured them into... Right. Yeah, what I have is one bottle yeah. of the concoction, or a few bottles, and then I pour one single dose in a vial when I've used it, and I just yeah, keep the just vial Yeah, it'll just be like little potion hip. vials, right? So yeah, like... would it be like... How big would it be? Would it be big, small enough that I could fit it under my tongue? Well, given that, it, given that it's uh, an alcoholic beverage not meant to be consumed uh, like large portion of time, right? So it's probably like, like a, a shot. shot. Yeah, so like, yeah, it'll be pretty small. Would you realistically say I could fit it like under my tongue? Or is that still pushing it? Swallow it and throw it back up. No. I don't know. I don't know. That works. Because, like, <laughs> no, Jeez, like, in the vial. Like, uh, you, uh, you can certainly try. <laughs> That's what it's a ball instead of a oh. air ball. Uh, okay. Like, it's just there, like... I mean, why would your mouth right. be open, though, you know? You're just... You don't talk anyways, so. If I don't know. Uh, instead, I'll just put it and hope they don't. They might take it, but then there's a single dose, but I'll do the hide it in, like, underneath my boob, inside my top. And so... <laughs> They'll have to get real handsy if like they're Like every college girl trying to sneak alcohol into a bar. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to put... Every time. So oh, I'm trying to put fucking... stuff in my trousers. In my <laughs> can, can I see the bag for a second real quick? Yeah. Uh, right, I'm gonna spend... sure you don't want me to take any of your gold? I'm going to spend 10 minutes casting the alarm to... spell on the bag. Okay. I'm assuming <laughs> this is once everyone's put their shit in. Well, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, if you want to put it in the bag, you can. I'm sure that guys can probably just put it in there without having to bag but yeah yeah um it'll probably be pretty full well, it makes all that sense stuff, that cast just brings the bag and everyone's shit is at the top all right bag is probably full then but yeah i'll alarm it yeah I'll, uh, yeah if all of you put your belongings stream in little it, tin cans so... around on the edge of the bag yeah i'll keep out like my basic bitch weapons but like the hand axe of thunder wave and my uh amulets and shit uh excuse me will go in the bag in the bag in the bag whilst we uh, are waiting for like the time to be passing Kes gets to mention my gold so at that point I'm going to take some of my gold out I'm going to be like polishing my gold coins because it's been a while since I've done it <laughs> I'm just like oh um I, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about mm hmm it's something that Captain mentioned to me uh, on the boat. Mm. I want to very intently watch each of their faces as I say this. Did any of you know that the Captain swore blood oath with a god? No. Huh? Which one? Apparently she had. I, I don't know. She can't tell. Oh. It could Literal be anyone. Is. There are not, like, a small number of them, so it doesn't really give us a lot of information. But, no. Like, not not just you... an oath. A blood oath. Did she and tell I... you any symbols Ooh. or anything? Did you see any? No, she can't. It's against her oath or whatever. I don't know. No, but did you, like, see any on her that might differentiate? Are you what are you inferring? Like a spider web? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like... Does she have, you know, I have this necklace that has... I don't know, I didn't undress her. No, but Not she might be wearing time. rings and stuff that are visible to the eye. You'd have to be... I don't like, know what out. those symbols are. I don't... I've never cared for it. They didn't yeah, but, exist to me two days ago. But if you saw the yeah, symbols, no, Jack, surely Alazrin, you still remember you, them, because I might know the symbols. Alazrin, you... Do I remember any heart. symbols that she may have had referring to any kind of god? No. That's what I figured. You're, you're flogging a dead horse. No, but... Justifying why he should remember isn't going to make him remember. It, it might spark something in an old man brain of his. You never know. They suddenly remember things. Well, out of character question, which which captain are we talking about right now? Vera. Okay, so I thought. Cool. Uh, for a minute, I just want to make sure. Okay. I'm... Vera has a blood oath with a deity of some kind. 
higher. Celeste, do you respond to that at all? Just, uh, curious. Uh, not very shocked, but she kind of just like, I mean, some gods or goddesses uh, expect certain amount, certain ways of, of of people devoting their faith to them, and some of them, yeah. Blood Oath so is, you had no Blood Oath idea. isn't necessarily anything sinister. It's just a way to really, um, what do I say? Some religions slash um, alchemists of, of deities, if you will. Uh, well, cults is also. No bond is um, a blood oath or a, a bound in blood. Is is just a way to really establish that. It's very hard to break said promise. You know? Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a little icky, but... But you and Kai had no idea of this. Yeah, just people's religions are none of my concern. Would Kai know anything? No. Oh. Probably like... Don't you yep. know her the longest, wouldn't you... Why are you the one? And well, apparently this is a new thing since we used to run around back in the old days on the old ship. Back then, we just stole shit. Kidnapped people. She still does Killed that. Killed if necessary. Yeah, she still does that as well. I, I, just, I, I, I was just curious. Uh, the fact that she can't tell which one is troubling. She promised to keep a secret. The way it's gonna be. Uh, secrets never make friends. That's why I don't lie. Make okay. a deception check. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, no fucking way. Can I insight check that? I have dice. Um, in character, I'm not insight checking, but out of character, bad, I'm like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> 30, 20? <laughs> My insight. Celeste so looks at you. Celeste so looks at you. Share. Just kind of like gives you gives you one of those. Well, have I lied to you? Whatever you want to tell yourself to sleep better at night, old man. Dragon egg. <laughs> Sorry. <Ooh. sighs> <laughs> so are we all set then? Uh, for getting sorry. Kidnapped? Yeah, I mean, just relax on the beach, have some food, and then just wait for our uh, our escort to arrive, I suppose. Might as well make the most of it. Me. Right, so so who doesn't have a weapon currently because theirs is in the back? I have a crossbow and a mace that are showing, and I've I've actually I'm I am currently armorless. I just have my cuffs on. I still I have a normal scimitar and a quarter cuff. stuff. So. Just the cuff. Just silver runic <laughs> cuffs. Okay. My dude was in the suit naked. It's cuffing season. Oh. No. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Fucking ace you. He takes his armor off oh. like Iron Man, his blue wang hanging out. And Celeste, like, <laughs> full on, now that this has all been discussed, makes the most of it and just fucking jumps in the water and just goes for a swim and just, just, just relax, just chills, vibes. I want to oh. see if they have any fishing equipment. Yeah, they do. It's all, uh, you know made from whatever the fuck they could find, but there's some, like, fishing rods and and and, and then Oh, shit, spears. dude, I'm gonna go grab one of them rods and go fishing. And spears they use as well for, like, the bigger fish are that they, that, that are they like, seen. actual fishing rods, or are they, like, desert they're probably, like, made? They're probably, like, so, like sticks with said, string on them. They made it from scratch from the supplies yeah. they have. So, yeah. I will take out, like, from the fucking side of my bag that's been strapped there for a week, the fucking actual fishing rods I bought. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, fishing rods? Oh, yeah. I bought fishing rods. Yeah, right before, before right before you guys got on the ship, he right bought some we fishing rods. I've been away. I strapped him. Oh. I've got three of them, so I will pass one to Jax. I will pass Hell one yeah. to Davian. Wait, what? What are you giving me? I'm fishing passing rod. a fishing rod. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Rod. And we're gonna go down to the beach and fish. Why do you have so many fishing rods? He bought because them. I bought them before we came. <laughs> I don't remember him buying them either. Don't worry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I do, do because do. there wasn't actually. They didn't sell them in the fucking general okay, store. Yeah, you had to go on like your own side quest. I had for to them go off. to like a fishing company and be like, "Hey, you guys got any spare fishing rods that you know the taxman wouldn't know about you selling on the side?" Taxman. <laughs> it's a real big bad evil guy. 
my god, so the bureaucracy nasty. was the enemy all along. No! <laughs> Alright, shut up, only noble here. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go if fishing. If you guys the will st start I'm fishing and stuff, uh, Celestia will just, every once in a while, just wild shape herself into a small fish and just kind of fuck with you, with you guys. Just kind of fuck Who does she up. fuck with That's specifically? All three of us? Or oh, just whenever, whenever she's like swimming around, she just sees like the, you know, she sees that there's a fishing hook in the water, she just kind of goes up to it and just kind of like whittles with it to kind of like fake you guys into thinking you have a, you have a bite. It's funny. So. I'm gonna read my book. Just, to, just kind of kill time. that specific area of the Jesus sea. Christ. Man. I just <laughs> cast a line without a hook on it and catch I'm Onu kidding. several times in a row. You <laughs> catch <laughs> Onu several <laughs> He's a medium octopus, so he's a fucking big boy too. Do you do every oh, time you catch him? Oh, if Onu is swimming around, then then Celestia will kind of will also wild shape into an octopus and just kind of chill with Onu. Just kind of do some swimming and all that. They're vibing together. Vibing. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. She gets wild back on a short rest anyway, so she can just kind of do <laughs> fucking use them willy nilly. I would uh, also go to the beach, but stand like a little distance away from the rest. Goes in the ocean like to his knees and just stares at the uh, at the horizon for a good time. Before he uh, slowly turns back uh, to the to the beach and uh, just sits by the people that are fishing and just just chills with them a little bit. What's great about this is that Elazarin is on the beach, like not near the shore, but like kind of like near on the huts, just in a bubble, sitting there. As everyone's fucked off. He's like <laughs> in the bubble. I'm still oh, in the yeah, bubble. Yeah. Uh, I'm but in the bubble that, reading that, my smut book. Just, just <laughs> sees the people fishing over them being like. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, clean the coins. Clean the coins, baby. Clean Before the coins. I start reading it, because Lazarin looking sad, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna offer him the book, and if he doesn't want to read it, then I'll read. I, it. I, I've, I've already read that book. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a joke. I thought that was just a joke. Why would that no. joke about reading? It's a very important thing oh, for this people was to do. The book that I gave Daigan after Lazarin <laughs> said he hadn't read it. <laughs> no, he said he had. He read it. read it already. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for Davian to catch Onu and try and convince him to pose like a Tinder pic with this catch. Holding it up. <laughs> for what reason? Sorry. The wall? <laughs> so I can sketch it, of course. He wants to take a selfie. Oh, you want to sketch me and Octopus Onu? Unless you're gonna catch something more impressive. Is there anything more impressive than a five foot octopus? Do we catch anything impressive? I'm gonna turn into a shark. That That's would be true. something to write home about. Right. I Hold could it. draw I could draw you holding Celesti whether she's a shark or not. That would also be something to write home about. <laughs> well, I think it might be more appropriate if <laughs> Celesti were holding me, given the As a shark or N well no. I can I could turn into a giant shark and then you kind of like step in my mouth and pretend to like hold my you know? <laughs> that would be fucking cool. <laughs> oh my god. You won't, like, die if you're on the shore for too long, though, right? Oh, Hold. <laughs> Dutch furiously Googling can sharks. You could have her, like, her gills underwater, but, like, mouth open fine. at the top of the water. I'll be fine. Sharks have to keep on moving to breathe. Oh. Well. Just a, that's a real-life shark fact for you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but moving. can I sketch okay, Mr. Shark Man. and therefore comes out of wild shape? Probably not. I'll be fine. Just Why, we just does anyone Celestia have a here? spell Magic. like Minor Illusion where we could create the pose quickly, someone then uses Minor Illusion to create uh, an image of it, and then... I mean, uh, I can make you spell I, like I a could, shark. I can Minor Illusion, yes, but it only lasts for a minute. Is it a cantrip? Yes. So you could just keep doing it over and over. Fine, sure. And sketch him from memory. Uh, I'm but not you having, I'm not having to let you sit as a shark for two fucking hours. While I can cast it. it and then sketch for the minute that it's in front of me, and then cast it and. Right. It's a ball like to do, but it'll it'll do. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Why'd you make this so complicated? Well, we could do it in the water if that works. Let's always argue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a form of bonding, I guess. What do you think is the source of the of of of, of this way of bonding? His stupidity, right? Because surely you're perfect. Absolutely not. Well, here I am trying to do a nice thing for him. Yeah, but let's be real. Look, 
if if you want to draw a picture of me standing in a shark's mouth, holding its mouth open, we can't keep that pose for as long as it's going to take you to draw it. And therefore, the only way for us to re recreate that, to allow you to keep drawing it, is for you to create an illusion of it. I think he's about to burst. He was going to sketch you holding Onu. Just That's because. what we started off as, yeah. You weren't happy with this. I joked about sketching I was sketching happy with that, but then Celestia was Celestia wanted to get involved, and you were like, oh, I can draw well, you holding Celestia involved. if you want Why don't you both just sit down? <laughs> I don't want to be involved anymore. I want to get out of this no, conversation. No, 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 oh, you can stay, no. You can stay... No, no, no. You can stay as you please are. Please let me go. You can sit next to him. Please let me go. Let both me of you go. And... Don't have consent? Let me go. Whoa. <laughs> I refuse to take part in this conversation. I just wanted to offer you a, a small bit of bit of bit of fun. Oh no, is also just slowly an like and I want away out. off the fucking into the fucking water. You can just draw me if you like. I like the image. Celeste just, just like... walked away at this point. She swam away. I'm just gonna look As did Onu. Like, You're a fucking idiot, and I'm gonna shut the sketchbook, pick up my fishing rod, and go back to the bubble. Well, sorry <laughs> for having good ideas. <laughs> fucking teed this man up, and he fucking the three of them. whiffed the shot, baby. I love the idea of just the three of us watching from the fucking. It's it, it's the, <laughs> I wonder what they're like, what are they talking about? Yeah, yeah, Jax is like right there, just sitting there, just trying to fish in peace with Kai <laughs> next to him. <laughs> okay, you just see Brooks like marching away Jack, and Davy just like <laughs> Celestia, Celestia will like come out of the water and goes into the bubble. You guys are uh Can can there be a conversation between the people of your group without it ending up in a in a useless argument? No. Huh. Depends Should've... on who's talking. Uh if it's any of me us. And I, Brooks and me Davian. And I can get along great. Brooks and Davian. Yeah, because oh, no, yeah, one, no. Cause no one could take the side with Daigon because we don't know what Daigon's saying. So you could just be making up. This is matter if it's Daigon because you win because you are the only one who knows who, who what was said and you could just lie. That's why we get Sorry, along Ceci, so well. You know what, Ceci? You're, you're exactly correct. I'm getting upset I'm starting an argument here with Kess straight away. I mean, like it's happened literally like 20 seconds after you mentioned it. Yeah. That wasn't even my fault. But we need to go to group therapy or something, guys. We've got, we've got problems. Yeah, that's all you. <laughs> I just hand I'm Celestia sorry. my book. What's a good one? To read it. Oh, it's a good one. Why is everyone read this book? This is just the Fifty Shades of Grey of this, this world. Is this like this everyone world. has read it because it's like so shitly written that we're all like, fuck, it's, it's the funny, funny thing you do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Fifty it's Shades of Grey. Why you are like aunt at Christmas? Because it's fucking. You've got hilarious. a different family than I do, mate. <laughs> You've got. <laughs> Not anymore, I don't, mate. Wait. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! That so took okay. a second on that one. Oh, 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 Jesus. Anyway, that's, um... So, uh, they, the, the fish people show up. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, is it not, like, six hours later? Who? Uh, Celestia sits in the... So, in the bubble, it's currently Celesti. Lazarin, Daigon, and a uh, little Kess? Yes. yes. Well, I was marching my way over. I'm gonna, if I see how busy it is, I'm gonna go find some trouble in the fucking shipwreck town. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Very crowded bubble. Celestia will kind of look at you three. I have a question. Mm. Um. See. You guys, some of you, like to joke around, poke fun, right? Looking, staring at Kess. <laughs> that was pointed, but okay. Yeah. See, I found this note. And I just don't <laughs> think that the name under the note was actually the name of the person who wrote it. What well, makes you think that? about that, right? Well, Not first of all. all, it addressed me as Star Mommy, which is a little on the nose. <laughs> But that is said like a Lazarin just fucking laughing like fucking what? <laughs> That's exactly I mean, right. I, I, I immediately do, do one the of sands. these. I made like the no, gimme gesture because I want to read the note now. Oh, I gave the note back to, to Davian who, who had said it belonged to, but when I gave it to him, he looked very confused. Oh. I don't think he's the one that wrote it. Wouldn't, 
wouldn't happen to be one of you guys, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Be honest. I'd like to insight check Kef. Yeah, as, as, she, as she says this, I like look at the book in my hands and sheepishly put the book away now that I'm worried that it looks like I wrote this letter. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> See, my, Natural main two for an 11. my main suspects were either you, Brooks, or actually was the Avian, so... I mean, well, I doubt... I, I assume Brooks probably didn't have time to write a note in between, you know, all the cutting down on my fucking hammock every three seconds and putting cannibals in it. That only lasts a couple minutes tops. So I had yeah. plenty of time, probably. Yeah, but it probably took him a lot of thinking power to think of that one. So what you're saying is maybe he didn't work alone. Oh, he probably had the idea to write it, but he probably oh, didn't write I, it. I, I signed a Kess. Although, did it look you've like Debian's handwriting? You've <laughs> read Brooks's journal. Have oh. you read Debian's journal? No, not yet. Okay, well, I signed a Kess. Do you think you could confidently recognize Brooks's handwriting? I know he's a forger, but, like, is there a chance? Yeah, probably. I could do it. Oh, uh, well, then I said you could tell Celeste if she gets the note back. You could get guess from the handwriting. It's really not that mm. deep. I just kind of wanted to figure out. Uh, Celestia was... doesn't know what I said. Oh, sorry. You're right. Look, you're right. Look, Bell has the per. <laughs> the Kess has the perfect chance in sign to fucking loop Dagon in, and she's like, "No, I've not read." <laughs> I've never heard of this. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, regardless, I um, I don't know. Just wanted to inquire, but uh, it was all probably good. books. Yeah. So if I were to pull a little prank on him, he wouldn't be surprised? I mean, he'd probably be surprised that you did it, but he wouldn't be... It depends what type of prank. Are we talking like the type of prank that... Uh, Any suggestions? Kai did it. I mean, is it the type of prank that Kai... That, oh my god, hello. That Kai did earlier? <laughs> or are we talking about the type of prank that Brooks tends to do? Um, she probably should be the middle ground somewhere. I don't have the patience to keep doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for a funny reaction. So probably something along more along the lines of just a one-time big funny thing. Don't make of... it like you know, insane. You know, borderline the... psychopathic. Yeah. You know, I'll sign to Kess. By that, maybe pass on to Celeste. If it appears to mortally wound someone, it's a bad prank. Okay, I thought about minor illusioning blood, and I didn't, so I would just oh, like a little bit of credit make for that. It better. You could pretend, to, you could make it so you wrote another note to someone else and leave it in Brooks's room. As in, um, like, you write a note being, like, to Brooks from someone, or, like, maybe on the other crew, or even the captain. But then, yeah, we're probably with the captain involved. That seems like a death wish. That's, uh, that's a one-way ticket into the grave. Which would be quite funny if it was oh, Brooks. Which would be... there, man. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying you could write your own letter, maybe even saying that, you know, you got inspired by g getting a letter from someone else that you should say your feelings. And then we yeah, set him up somewhere more along the lines of just kind of... Killing him? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Just more like, you know... Brutally maiming him. No. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just say that he uh is really drunk one night, goes to bed, and he wakes up not in his bed, but in the water. That's see, no, that's good. <laughs> he wakes up just in someone else's room, and he just doesn't know why he's there. He got so drunk. I'll I'll show Celeste. I feel like that happens to him a lot. Exactly. I'll, sh I'll show Celeste the cannon. itching powder that I still have, and offer it to her. What's that? I, and then I, I, I mime scratching. Oh. Yeah, it's work. at this and moment the penny eat. fucking drops <laughs> for a Lazarus. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> it was you! <laughs> As Lazarus says that, I just smile really big. <laughs> I killed a whole colony of ants for nothing. <laughs> Do you know how long it took to get out of my bed? <laughs> it's probably still in there to this day. <laughs> Find a new bedroll. Oh my god. You buy well, the that will work. Somewhere. Thank you very much. And she's like, pockets it. God, I can't believe you'd do that to me, Daigon. 
Mm. I assume it was you. It wasn't Kess, right? No, of course not. So it was you and Ke God, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are bad at lying, Kess. <laughs> As you look like more bemused by the fact that you've been accused of something, it's like more <laughs> like, what is like me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Cobra no just sound evidence. like fucking posh Homer? <laughs> 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 it's true. It's because that's true. Right, anyway, I'm just gonna go for a little, a little, uh, little swim, and then um, what is time? <laughs> I still can't believe it. Like, die. <laughs> she just leaves. As you... uh, next up, she'll try to seek out Brooks. Uh, Brooks is probably drinking shit grog with some of the locals. Hey. I thought you were... Never mind. Hello. Thought I was what? I don't know at this point anymore. Huh? Have you... Finish your sentence? Are you here for something in particular, or...? No, I just... Want to see what you were doing? Okay. I thought we, we weren't talking after on the beach, but... Fine. Why would we be talking? You were very unhappy. Was I? I just want out of that conversation. Doesn't mean I'm angry. Just didn't want to be part of that anymore. That's why I left. Is that not how you... That's far too healthy for anyone in our group. You try it sometimes. Just, just eject yourself from a conversation you don't want to be a part of anymore. Instead of I will remaining part until the point you do get frustrated. So, you know, little... Unless he's out here looking after Brooks' mental health. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna ask you. Just once. I got a note. Did you write it? Did not write the note. Did you... Assist the person that wrote it? Fine, right. I... Did you have any parts in the writing and delivering of said note? I assume that at this point you've either decided for some reason it was me, or failing that, gone through the entire group with everyone denying it, and then come to me. Well, the fact that you aren't denying knowledge of a note kind of says enough, doesn't it? I was involved in the writing of the note. Uh, okay, follow-up question, why? Avian is clearly interested in you. We wanted to poke a bit of fun, but I wanted to do it in such a way that it was written to be very clearly not... You know, it could have been much more subtle and believable. Okay, that's all I wants to know. And she leaves. Okay. <laughs> <It's not good. laughs> I'll start playing cards with the locals. Uh, anything else anyone wants to do before they... Actually, no, wait, 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 hold on. Celestia will uh, then uh, go to Kai. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Doesn't sound very convincing. You know the whole... Getting... In prison and getting taken to a... A hall and stuff doesn't really sound that... Fantastic. And I... I can't really remember the last time where I didn't have an eye on the sun or the moon. Well, it'll only be for a few hours, hopefully. If all goes well. Yeah, I'll... yeah if all goes well. I have a feeling. And if need it... be, say, say it gets really bad, I can just. We can just dig our way straight up out of the. out of that lair. Yeah, I, I think there might be more to it than we think. So I just wanted to take my time to take in the beauty of the, the, the sun before 
might be a be longer than expected to see it again. Yeah, prepare for the worst, pray for the best, I guess. Yeah. I'll just... It'll be fine. Plus, you got a ship to cabin when uh, this is all over. That's very true. How about that? Hmm? What do you think? Deep green or teal? For the I flags? think if you change anything about the ship, that fear will have you had on the platter. <laughs> I'd be worth it, though. It depends. And Kai, and Kai just stares and uh, All right. he just picks right in front of him. I'll leave you to your daydream. <laughs> Thank you for checking on me. No worries. Uh, that's about all she does. She's kind of... Yeah, that's it. She did her thing. Um, is there anything I anyone wants any to do? Hmm? Catch any fish? Make a, uh, make a survival check. I want to also be fishing with Jax, so okay. do I catch Hell anything? Yeah. yeah, make a survival check as well. Uh, survival. Uh, yes. 12. 12? Sir. Pre prepare to be shown up, old man. 26. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, Suck my cup. Jax, you catch a few, like, small, small fishies. Just some, like, uh, the smaller fish that tend to kind of just, like, live towards, like, close to the coastline. Uh, don't ask me to fucking name fish names, I have no idea, but just small, small Go little fishies. Be. Whereas, oh, uh, Davian, oh. I mean, yeah, you show them up, you, 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 you catch, like, large, fucking, ah. large ba basses. Oh, um, yeah. well, stingray. St oh, Not yeah, where... fuck it, there's a stingray there. Steve Owen, no. And then I oh. throw it at Jax, and he gets stabbed in the heart and dies. <laughs> Oh, Steve Irwin, no! Like I'm not javelin. Steve Irwin. Yeah, like a javelin with like fins so that it's like stabilized, you know? Oh my god. It gives me an idea. <laughs> oh my god, do we have a stingray gun? A D D related idea, guys. Don't get anything wrong. I'm not gonna catch stingray stingrays gun. in real life. Alright, relax. <laughs> Start shooting. I'll get fired from a t shirt cannon. <laughs> I just hold it aloft. I'm like, oh, if only Brooks were here right now to capture this beautiful moment on paper, eh? <laughs> I think you just killed it. Oh, I didn't kill it. And, well, it's not the most sturdy creature. Have you known my you're animal handling is water. very good? <laughs> and therefore, my well, you're not right throwing over the handling of the animal at spot. an all-time high. So we catch fish. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, as the hours go by. Uh, you get summoned for uh, a meal around the campfire. A um, couple of pretty large um, fish that have been caught by the townsfolk have been kind of just like been like like roasted above the fire. It's, uh, it's it ain't much, but it's uh, you know it beats rations, I suppose. It's a good time. Above the fire and going, where you fucking idiot? Way. <laughs> I um ask one of the group to get me food because I'm not leaving the fucking dome. <laughs> Well, now, what happens next and depends entirely on who you ask. Oh, it would probably have been like Kess and Daigon, because they're the people in the dome. They'd just be like, when they, I assume they do some sort of like, hey, get, let's go get some food. I'd be like, um, could you guys just give me some and bring it back, please? Kind of can't Ten be. Ten gold. I just kind of look at Daigon. <laughs> Big pleading I'll eyes. I'll I'll go get food and bring some back since obviously I, I'm like I, I you now know that I put itching powder in your sleeping bag. So <laughs> <laughs> Definitely does do that. It's like the guilt trip look of like peanut <laughs> pizza food. <laughs> so I'll go Thank to you. the I guess the the local town and just buy something that I can bring back. That's no, it's probably. not buying. It's just kind of like it's just there. Like everybody, uh, and sit, like the entire town is or village is made of like ten They're to fifteen, ten to fifteen they don't people. Have any money. You see, but Jackson... we're not from there, and they'll still share with us. I guess because they feel bad, because like they're sending us to our well, we're supposed taking them home. Doom, so. Yeah, like you basically the whole yeah, you kind of just there together now. You guys get into and out of the place you go to, and in exchange, these people were offered a way off this fucking shithole in the form of the porcupine, taking them back oh, to okay. the mainland. And yeah, I'll go find whatever they woke up they have. in a fucking steaming mood. Yeah, whatever they're serving, and I'll bring some back for myself and a Lazarin and Kess. Nice bit of white fish. There nice. we go. Pretty nice it, and uh, charred and flaky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Um, 
Jackson will kind of like look at you all after you've uh, had your meals. Right, well, it's uh, well, not going to be long now before uh, your escort will be here. So I'm going to start a fight with the biggest cunt you got. So that's him. And he points at Brooks. Technically, he's bigger oh. than me, but okay. Yeah, anatomically, I mean, big blue old man probably got a couple feet on him, but yeah, but I don't want to be on the elderly, you know, it's a bit <laughs> fucked up. It's also a big uh, fucking turtle right, right next to him. That's also all true. right. Well, who wants to get fucking who wants to have a free crack at oh, no, 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 breaking no, no, my jaw? Like, come on, I would love to have a fight. I just I hide behind Celeste. Wanted to point out that Jax is taller than me because it felt like the annoying thing to do, right. Is how it's gonna be, right? I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. You're gonna fucking just give me all you got with one punch, right? In the meantime, the rest mm -hmm. of you are gonna get shackled to make it look like you know, make it make it a bit a bit more convincing, right? You guys are in shackles. You guys got pissed. This guy broke out. Fucking deck me. Got him. We, we got we got to sell it a little bit, you know. So. If you're all done with your meals, I would appreciate you if you just let my men shackle you in, uh, while we wait for uh, your escort to come. And then, I mean, he just kind of looks at Brooks, just cracks, crack, gives him just one punch, just like straight across the face. And he just kind of looks at you and just, right, come on. Do I take any damage from this punch? Uh... Does he have a strength modifier? He does, but he also... Uh... Uh, you take three points of uh, of damage Ow. as you're just gonna. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Right. Okay. Come on. Give me all you got, big boy. Let's go. Mm. He told me to aim for his his jaw, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want to pull my punch a little. How kind of. I'd like. I want to leave a mark. I don't want to break his jaw. Okay. It's natural 20. <laughs> natural 20 on pulling the punch, though. So I think you did a really Managed good job just, like, at not so perfectly him. measure out the, like, level of, of, of force to your punch that I'm going to let you just decide how much damage you want it to do. <laughs> I mean, I'll do... I want him to think that I was. No. Yeah, within yeah, reason, of course. Yeah, I want him to think that I hit him as hard as I could, but I don't want to break his jaw. Yeah. All right. So you you just you you deck him. He kind of just like, and you can see him kind of like, there's bruising and and part of his lip, like like cracked a bit. So there's a little little cut in his lip. Oh, right, that'll do. And and he'll take some shackles out and shackle you as well. And about 10 to 15 minutes later, this this group of you're you're trying to get a quick quick head count, but like about 40 fish like oh. bipedal uh, creatures arrive at the village. Um kind of yelling at each other in this does anyone of you speak Aquan for chance? No. Yes, so no. Does. You do? I do. I do. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so it, to everyone, it sounds just like this, like this, like very, you know, like World of Warcraft Murlocs, just this gurgly fucking. Yeah. Uh, Kai, you understand them uh, saying, "All right, round them all up. Let's get them to the queen as fast as possible." Okay. So queen. you all kind of get like, uh, Jackson looks at uh, the group and he's like. It's like all right, we've, we got them. Just take them, please, and just leave us alone. Um, some of the, like, you can kind of tell that some of the fish-like creatures seem to be, like, enjoy the fact that they have this, like, authority over these people. You see some of the random uh, fish-like creatures just kind of, like, purposely bumping into some of the random uh, crewmates slash villagers there. Just, just being dickheads. Just being assholes. Because they can. Yeah, how many hours has it been since... Yeah, uh, I put my bubble up. I don't know. Uh, Eight. like four to six. <laughs> bubble Sebek, good luck trying to get me, asshole. <laughs> I mean, are you not? Are you gonna stay in the bubble? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
just gonna well, I came down to get shackled. Well, uh, well I'm getting shackled. This, at this point, mm -hmm. Kess has been uh, sucked in the vessel, right? This is yep. like the, yeah. Yeah, Kess will be in the vessel, and All right. the vessel is around Dagon's neck. Okay. Okay. Uh, you get all your belongings uh, taken from you. Any jewelry you're wearing. And the only thing you are left with is the clothes slash armor that you're wearing right now. The rest of it, all your all your belongings, everything gets taken and put in like a big bag. Uh, and you get rounded up, and uh, you get the they they put these like bags over your head, so you have no idea where you're going. You're completely blind, and you get taken away. I may have dropped my bubble. They can have entered at some point. Hmm. They can't enter my bubble. Yeah. But I would have dropped it anyways. Just... The second I see them, if they start being like any way sort of aggressive to like anyone else, I've been like, fucking fine. I'll, I'll cave. <laughs> but and that's when once I have this moment of defiance. Of okay, just so like... you do eventually, do you do give in yeah. and get taken with Yeah. Them? He has okay, his okay, four-year-old okay. temper tantrum. Okay. Nice. okay so my enough. moment does is he, just... Does he, ah. does he let them know that he dropped the bubble or does he just like... Act shocked out. and surprised. No, I, I like walk out of it. Just take They're a like, look like, around, oh. confused, and just. <laughs> and Kai, you hear this to be the. Uh, we missed one, and you, yeah, Elijah, and you also yeah. get shackled. Get your yeah. shit taken from you. Um, they didn't they, fucking knew. <laughs> they take your. They do take your. Um, your holy symbol is on a is on a necklace, right? It's on a necklace I've tucked like right. Yeah, but they they like uh, they they ah uh, so like they take okay. everything from you except for your clothing. Cool, great. Um, Put it in the bag, idiot. You get shackled. You get a blind uh, not a blindfold, just a bag over your head, so you don't have any idea where the oh, fuck yeah. you're going. When you say yes. clothing, mm -hmm. you mean armor or just like yeah, just whatever you're wearing, well. clothing wise, but whether that's armor or not, There's you, you, get, you get to keep. The rest of it, uh, it all gets taken. I just saw um, my fancy head. And you all uh, start walking, kind of get pushed. Some of them kind of like prod you in the back whenever you're, you know, not fast enough for them or just to be dickheads. Um, it's the DM. Hello. What are these shackles made out of? Uh, well, now you're blindfolded, but you, you would have had a look um, before. They They look metal, but... When you're just trying to like you're just trying to like fucking around with it, you know, while you're walking, yeah, they they feel a lot more sturdy than the 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 the, the usual like so like prison prison magic. shackles. I I'll leave that up to your uh, imagination. He's um, a blacksmith, is it? Okay, <clears throat> that's fine. Whatever. Fuck uh, we're shit. not like roped together or anything, or like our manacles no. aren't tied to each other. You're just right? surrounded by they're an army of like 40, 40 okay. fish people that are armed to the teeth, uh, escorting you. You're kind of like in the in the center of that little 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 bubble, uh, and you just get pushed forward towards. Um, and you you guys march for 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 a good two to three hours. Eventually, you get to a point where uh, you hear some of the the fish folk kind of like rawr, 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 again. Uh, Kai, uh, you understand that they they basically warning each other like watch out for the drop. Uh, and you feel this like splash of water going over you. Just you hear running water, uh, kind of like falling, uh, rem reminiscent of a waterfall, uh, and you seem to just be going straight through it. So you're all wet from just the initial, just like walking through the waterfall, and you can feel, and, and the first thing that happens when you enter uh, this now, what you assume to be cavern behind a waterfall type of situation, the first thing that, that, that strikes you is the smell. It just smells like rotten fish and salt water. Okay. It's it it it, it just, it's almost like an assault on your nostrils. It's it's horrid. Uh, you also feel that as you're walking, there's there's it's not super deep, but there's like a few inches of water just covering the floor wherever you go. Um, it's just you know just just high enough to kind of get your feet like like wet in your in your shoes or whatever. I suppose. Um, Are we on like mud or is it more like rock? The ground underneath the water that you're walking in uh, seems solid. Where is Onu at this point? What is how? Um. Well, what would you have told Onu to do? You Before can't really shackle off. an octopus. I don't think they would hmm. kill him. What I have no idea, man. I like I. If, my if first instinct. Odd piece. 
if Onu was like like near you or like hanging on to you, they probably shove them in one of the bags. To be honest, Just... <laughs> Onu in a bag. Yeah. Octopus in a bag. Poor buddy. Well, an octopus can squeeze through a hole as small as its beak, right? So like. That's why he's an octopus. All right, Onu's in a bag. Onu's in a bag, I guess. Onu's in a bag. <laughs> yeah. Would, would they have done the same like, with Chip? What? Huh? Would they have done the same with Chip? Yeah. Okay. Onu's gonna eat a Chip. Onu's um, in one of those bags that you get from like the fairground. What if like, has uh, a goldfish? There's a goldfish in it. You know. Oh like, no, they're like this. No, no, no. <laughs> it's clear bag with water. Yeah, with water, it just. As Shaking you guys around. go, uh, you 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 feel the, the 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 temperature around you gets colder and colder. Um, it gets it, the air very humid, very damp. Uh, you can hear just just water dripping down around you. Uh, there's no parts where you're really being forced underwater or anything, but there is just like a good few inches of water on every surface that you seem to be going on uh, until you get deeper. to a point. Sorry. Does the water like get deeper as we go, or just about the same level? In much? some places, some places there's a little more water, but eventually, like like on average, it's it's a few inches, and then there's a couple of rooms that you walk through that are a little deeper. But gotcha. Th there's no point where you're forced to have to swim, essentially. That's good. Uh, and you all get um, uh, just like pushed in a room. You hear the door close, and through the through the bars, they just pull your. Uh, your bags off your heads and you can see someone else walk away with the bags full of belongings and he's away for like you you just hear him kind of like rah, 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 rah. and he goes around the corner and just <laughs> you hear him drop everything uh and he comes back and they all kind of look at you they they have one more rah, 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 among each other before the majority of them disperse but seven of them just stick behind and and just stand in the room that like uh, in, uh, that, that that borders with your cell. What you see and hear around you is just... It's very dimly lit. The only light comes from a bunch of crystals above you, like purple and blue crystals that seem to just kind of light up the, the ceiling of this uh, of this cavern. Um, it smells, like I said, of just fish, rotten fish and, and salt water. Uh, this... Now that you've been walking into the, in this water for a while, your feet are wet and it's, it's fucking horrible. It's annoying. You know, you can feel Choosing some of you can feel their feet kind of getting that like wrinkly uh, vibe going on. It's not a good time, but you are still shackled, uh, and you are in your uh, cell with seven. Uh, uh, did they lift the bags off our heads? Yeah. yeah. No, they, they, the they took the bags off, right? They took the bags off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And with that, everybody's in the cell except for Kess. Kess, you can you can hear. And Ono. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, no. Kes, Kes said the vessel was around my neck. Yeah. I'm in the cell. Yeah, but they took the it. Vessel's still... yeah, they, they've, they took they've it. taken everything. Oh, they took they that. They took okay. your jewelry. Including... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Making sure. Like cool. I said, the only things that you have on you is the clothing slash armor you were yeah. wearing. The rest okay. of it, all, everything got taken. Okay. Um, when you say they're in the room next to our cell, mm -hmm. are they all just sat staring at us or? Yeah, they're they're guarding you. They're making How sure that you stay in there. Here? It's dimly lit. Well, damn. They're like right outside the cell. And there's seven of them just right outside the cell, just sitting. That's a problem. Guess, <laughs> uh, so uh, you hear when you're in the vessel, correct? Or like mm. what, what, what other yeah. senses do you have? Do you, can you see? Can you, can you smell? Like what? I can't see. Um, it's just hearing? I'm pretty sure it's just hearing. Okay. Well, at some point you just feel, you hear the sound of a bunch of shit being dropped and you reckon, okay, well, they probably chuck me, chuck me down somewhere. Kind of thing. Now, if I remember correctly, Kess has said that she can hear while we're in the vessel because we were talking about throwing yeah. her vessel away while she was in it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear it. as if I were in its space. Like, yes, where the vessel uh, is. She, so, has, so she has mentioned it, yeah. Okay, so Brooks is going to stand in the cell and just start antagonizing these seven individuals antagonize them how how closely grouped are the seven so, individuals uh the room is about 
5, 10, 20, 30. Like 40 feet across. Uh, and they're just kind of like... They're not all huddled together out. in front of the cell, but they're all, they're, they are all kind of like spread around that room. Gotcha, okay. And we so, are all in the same cell. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. a tight space, by the way, that you guys are in. You guys, yeah. it's been, like... Technically, probably a little too small for a group of your size, but they don't give a fuck. Stuffed you in there, like those yeah. Japanese trains, you know? It's fucking... They, <laughs> they clearly don't pay attention to Osha, but... but what did you... Uh, what, you're antagonizing one of them, how? So, I'm antagonizing them in an attempt... In an intent to relay information, knowing that Kes can hear us. So, fairly loudly, Brooks would be like... So... The seven of you, like, are you all related, you know, because, you know, if your mom's a fish, then does she have, like, hundreds of children, or... I kind of pick up on what he's doing, <laughs> I'll join him, being like, yeah, you know, you're all about the same size, probably, what, like, seven, eight feet tall, you know, seven of you. Two of them, like, look well at and they just both <laughs> with their spears, like, one of them prods you, Brooks, and one of them prods you, uh, Do they, do they all have spears? They have, like, tridents, yeah. yeah. They, do they all have the same weapon? Yes. Okay. Fucking, there's no need to fucking jab at me with your fucking tridents that you all carry like from <laughs> sort of fucking losers. It's a 19 to hit you, Brooks? Yeah, that hits. Uh, and a 17 for Davian? <laughs> that is my AC! No! No! Uh, <laughs> you both take seven points of piercing damage uh, from just being prodded when you yes. start piping up. Fucked up, man. Ow. I'm gonna spit on him. Uh, I'm gonna try and like move myself around to get a look at like someone's manacles and kind of look at them, mm -hmm. see what we're dealing with here. If I see that, I'll try and angle myself so that Jax can take a look at my. Make an investigation manacles. checks. Uh, checks. With advantage because an I catch what he's doing. And, I'll like, make seven I'm different to... checks for now, every uh, single pair of manacles. I really. Yeah, sure. Have advantage. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be even crazier. Just kidding, it's worse. Um, that's fine. Uh, uh it's still twenty-seven. Uh, you look at them, and these are very sturdy, very like reinforced. They are, at its core, they look like they were just your, you know, your your run-of-the-mill shackles, but but they've been reinforced with with extra, extra metal, extra bindings, just to make them a little harder to just kind of bust out of. Uh, the, you look at the lock, and I mean, you reckon if you had your hands available, you would be able to pick it, but kind of hard to do that with your hands <laughs> hands tied behind your back. Next, yeah, either I'm doing it without looking at it, or you dislocate um, both your thumbs. Oh. Uh, I need to look at see how this actually works. Uh, in the Dutch, meantime, yes. Dutch, I have a question. Um, would because you know I said I was gonna try and hide the 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 vial of thoughts and prayers in my like shirt mm -hmm. was it found did they do like a pat down body search or is it just taking what was visible and in bags make a stealth check stealth. 18 it was not found okay now next question the first to know can i have you ever seen the video of girls that can like put on lipstick with their boobs? You can just like hold it and you lean down and they can like manipulate things. Would I be able to try and reach down and like uh, uh, and so and like you can get the vial and then like drink it? Try. So she wants to get a vial that's hidden under her under, under her chest. Yeah, with her. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, fair. I said I said under. Never mind. I was hoping it was like more in the middle, but I I did say like kind of under so that's not gonna work i just thought okay. there would be instead, hilarious to watch instead I mean, you can try I'm it's going... not gonna be easy but you can try and breaks the vial oh my god because think <laughs> out of out of the back to keep in mind you know how cat and this is a fact because i watched it cats have extra cushioning between each vertebrae of their spine that's what makes cat spines extra bendy and flexible and why cats like this is a real fact can I'm like stretch the way they do so would if tabaxi have similar biology my neck and spine are stretchier than the average humanoid if this is what you want to try to do, make a slight of hand check with disadvantage. For sure. Disadvantage. Oh! One of them's a natural 19, and the other's a natural 2 for a total of 7. You kind of, like, go down and try and get your mouth on, on, on the vial to kind of get it get yeah. it up. Yeah. Uh, it. No. 
There's no okay, way. then instead, I'm going to um, try and start, I'm going to like be like tapping people in the cell with my shoulder and kind of gesturing towards a back corner with my head and trying to get everyone to come come with me and huddle in the back corner of the cell. I mean, uh... we're being watched. No. Sure, I trust Dagon. Okay, so as if we're all just so, who's gonna actually come? Who would? Who do you think would take the hit? So Brooks, anyone I'm, else? I would also Jax take the hit. Yeah, I mean Celestia. Jax would not get the hint. Okay, Celestia. Yeah. All right, Kai's the largest of those individuals, right? Yes. Tall, as yes. in like tallest. I believe so. Okay, yeah. then positioning myself, not like I'm trying to completely obscure my visibility because I don't want the guards to get too suspicious, but mm -hmm. as if we're just like we were gonna just have a chat. But I've positioned myself to obscure the majority of my body from the guards via Kai Brooks's, like Celestia's bodies. And I'm going to pop out my spectral arms, but keep them in and like not be like, oh, but like pop them out and do this and reach and grab the vial with one of my arms while keeping the others tight to me so they're not visible. Okay. 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 And with me so far. And then I spend a key point to do that. And then I drink it. And it's only for two feet that it's visible. Or it's, it, my thoughts are audible once I drink it. So the mm -hmm. guards would not hear it. Correct. And I like sidle up, still trying to keep the others in front of me. Cause now you guys have seen my arms pop out. You've seen me drink this. So trying to get closer to Jax, but keep trying to use you guys still to hide me and keep my arms in. I just get within two feet of Jax and say, um, and it through in your head, you hear, Jax, it's me. Don't react. But for ten minutes, Ooh, I have extra kill. arms. Can you told me? Can you guide me on picking the manacles? Well, I don't have my tools on me. It would take uh, me an hour to the spectral some. arms. The spectral arms pop out claws. Uh, we could. I I don't know if your claw will be. And you also hear and whisper. Keep your voice down. They can't. They must think we're just thinking. We, they can we just all think hear this, right? right we're all. And all of you guys also hear this. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you're close enough. You're within two feet. <clears throat> I mean, I might be able to help Jax figure out more about them, but it's it's not that we don't know anything about them. It's that we don't have the proper tools. More so, I'd say. Either way, I'm I... gonna go try and start picking uh, my own manacles, mm -hmm. but while, with Jax uh, watching yeah. and trying to give while, me advice. Whilst they're doing that, to create a sort of semi distraction of just noise, mm -hmm. and Lazen's going to start having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just gonna be like, I am locked in. The boss uh, is like, I can't do it. Let no, out. it's not even like that. It's more like, like I saw, I saw Valor. He was locked in something like this, not like this. So they're gonna chain me up. Okay, I'm fine. One, two. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold that thought. While this is uh, happening, uh, what is Kess doing? Okay. Oh, you guys ruined my plans. Okay. <laughs> Have we? I am an idiot. So what have we? Yes, <laughs> you assholes. Okay, I'm gonna uh, come out of the vessel. Okay, uh, you come out of the vessel. Let me quickly whip mm -hmm. out the old. Uh, did they take? Did they take the tizical suit? If it was around your necklace. neck, uh, they took the necklace Shen, chucked it in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I am just willing, Onu. <laughs> that bag and find the tears across through the pigment. I just assumed if you took them off, you explode. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm trying to find me fucking map. There we go. Um, yeah, right, you jump out uh, of a uh, of the vessel, Kess. You're in a smaller room uh, where there's there's no door, but there is like a small tunnel that kind of connects this to the room ahead. In the room ahead, you can hear a bunch of noise coming from. You can hear a Lazarin yelling. You can you can hear you you also heard you know Brooks and Davian heckling uh, the guards. Uh, they are right around the corner from you. You, you believe? Okay. Uh, you do also <laughs> the some of the guards do occasionally like kind of peer into this room. Um, so you do see that. So make a stealth check for me, please. Okay. Don't roll in that one as well. 
Or do for the long If, uh, if they peer into, like, if we see them peering towards our gear at any point, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and join our last runs. Like, I'm going to join our last runs routine and be as distracting as possible. We're going to okay, die! 24. Okay. You are, no, I'm not panicking. I'm encouraging his panicking. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna die. Everything's uh, going wrong. You just kind of like that's hide hot. behind one of the the corners of the of the wall, and that's out of out of vision for them. Uh, but you do see that there's like all the bags with all the stuff that that belongs to you and your friends is in this room. What do you want to do? How far away are everyone? About forty feet. If that, they're right around the corner. Okay. Um. I'm gonna get uh, Hawthorne to come around, who I'm assuming is invisible at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to hand him a set of lock picking tools. Okay. And take them to Daigon. Okay. Uh, can you just make a stealth check for uh, Hawthorne with uh, advantage because he's Same invisible? Hot and stab, dude. I don't what know what Hawthorne's stats are. But... Natural 20. Okay. Oh, there you go. God, Bell. Oh. Jesus. So Hawthorne uh, flies over, and you guys don't see this, but Daigon, as you're kind of like with the spectral arms, as you, yeah. you kind of like are about to pick your own uh, lock. A the arms can hold things, right? They can, they can. They can hold things. Yeah, uh, yeah. This like, set of thieves tools is just being, it's just, it just drops out of the sky into your, into the palm of that hand. And I, I look bewildered for a second, but I don't question it. And then again, while the, before the, this will probably be the last thing that you, my before my thing wears off. Mm -hmm. I drink. You go, Jax. I have tools now. Walk me through it quietly. All right, I'll. Add... <laughs> it's quiet as old man Cats. Jax can do it. Yeah. Try to walk her through it. Make a make a slight of hand check with advantage, uh, Laura. Okay. Advantage okay. because there's a lot of fucking noise going on, but it's pretty distracting. Yeah. Oh, 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 17 rocking. plus 5, 22 total. You, this very hard lock to break, but yeah. you do manage yeah. to pick open the lock and your arms are freed. Okay, and I have the arms for 10 minutes total, so I'm going to mm -hmm. try and pick uh, as many people's as possible, but mime to the group, like, like I'm showing, I'm going to show the group mine are picked, but I'm mm -hmm. going to keep my arms behind my back so that they still, like, I'm not, I, I'm the illusion <laughs> that they're still on. And then with the spectral arms, so I'm keeping my physical arms behind my back, even though they're free, and I'm going to use the spectral arms to pick everybody's. Okay. And then uh. once I've got everybody's, I will h put the arms away and we'll, like, kick the man, we'll try and kick the man, oh, I'll also use the arms to put the pick the manacles up and very gently place them in like a corner of the cell so they don't hear them make also a, fall to the ground or like I mean away. I need you to make a check for each fucking Okay, fair, fair. A pair. So we'll move on to Jack's next. Uh okay. make another slight of hand check with advantage. Uh natural sixteen plus five twenty-one. Okay. Good. Uh okay. Elasrin. Same thing. Twenty one. Brooks. 16. The picking fails. Okay. But the, your lockpick doesn't break. Okay. Uh, I'll move on to someone else because my, my logic is maybe Brooks's are kind of different and I don't want to... I'll, I'll do the others and I'll come back if I can. Wait. Wait. So I'll try Davian next, I guess. Okay. Because I've done, I've done Jax and I've done a Lazarin so far. And myself. Yes. If anyone can fight with shackles on. It's probably yeah, Brooks, okay. that's true. If anything, so, Brooks used to his advantage to, like, grapple yeah, someone. Yeah, so, uh, Davian, next then? Look yep. through the back. Uh, yeah. natural 20, so 25. Is it peasy? Total, uh, Maybe if they were in front Kai? of Kai? Kai? 22. Good. Celesti? 15. I, I no, so you up. fail on, on Celesti's, uh, yeah. uh, shackles as well. Uh, so, at that point, so, so only Celestia and Brooks are still shackled at this point. The rest of you guys have their arms yeah. free or have their hands free again. I mean, I can fight shackled and Celestia can wild shape out. Yeah, so, so I, I don't want to. Can I risk... do one step fast? Of course. I'm yeah, gonna, well, yeah, well, this is going gonna, on. Yeah. The last thing I'll do is I don't want to risk trying to pick theirs more and get caught. So I'm mm -hmm. going to, again, the last thing I'll do with the arms is 
everything I was trying to place down gently and I'll just very shuffle them kind of into a corner out of sight and then pop the arms back in so now I can let the guards see my whole body so they're not extra suspicious but I'm keeping my arms just held like this okay and I'll be um, done now waiting for Kes to break what's Kes doing while Diagon is picking everybody's uh shackles I'm going to get Hawthorne to drop invisibility and, like, just, like, fly out from behind the group mm -hmm. and start, like, yelling and panicking at the guards and then, like, try and fly for the exit. Try and, like, get them to fuck off for a bit. Yeah, 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 exactly. <sighs> what, are the, what, are, what is Hawthorne's stat block? Is it a... Uh... Mm. Fucking um, fey spirits? What, what is it? Yeah, it's a it's a sprite. Sprite, All right? Sprite. Not a seven up. XD. I um, just rolled double nat ones. Oh yikes! I didn't roll now. Okay. Luckily, so he's gonna he's gonna anything. he's gonna essentially. I'm gonna need you to make a deception check, which for a Hawthorne is just gonna be a straight D20. There's no bonus. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, nineteen. 19, okay. Yeah. So Hawthorne just flies out of the cell, uh, goes visible, and for that moment, Di it also clicks for Diagon, like, oh, that's probably where the lockpick came from. Yeah. Uh, and Hawthorne just, like, leaves the cell and just goes, hey, you ugly fishheads! And just starts, like, f yelling at him and, and flies away. The 19... Three of them leave, follow Hawthorne, four of them stay behind. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Daigon, while you uh, are picking uh, the shackles, you do notice that, you know, you, you do notice the whole Hawthorne thing. This happens as you're picking yep. uh, the shackles. Yep. Hawthorne appears, three of them fuck off, go chase after him, so four of them are left. Okay. So what are you, what are you doing uh, as well, Cass? Anything else? Yeah. Um, I'm going to minor illusion into the, the area where they fucked off. Okay. Um, the sounds of, like, strangled gurgling noises. Like, like, they're yelling, but it's like their throats are, like, squished or something. Okay. So you give us a voice sample? Uh, no. <laughs> um, yep. Fuck, make a... Yes, yeah, make a deception check. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, what's my deception again? Probably lows, because uh, Kess is pretty charismatic, I believe. Yeah. Deception. Uh, that's a plus. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, plus eight, so... Uh, 16, 24. 24? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as that happens, the other four guards also fuck off and go uh, chasing after I'm, the sound. I'm gonna, like, run out and start trying to pick lock to the cell itself. Uh, as you, as you run out, uh, towards your friends, quickly double check. Uh, fuck up. No, I'm just checking. Uh... How many vaults are on the padlock? Celesti instantly just, just, you, before you even get to break through, like, pick the lock, she molds earth because the wall is just, it's just, like, like hard ground. So just yeah. molds a five foot, like, five foot wide, five foot high cube into the wall, large enough for everyone to just get out from, from around the door. So you're all, like, you're all collected in this room now. Uh, Kess, you know that the belongings are right around the corner, but you also realize that there's probably not a whole lot of time before these boys yeah. are going to be back, so... Uh, when I see Kess come in the room, I just, like, for, I stop pretending my arms are still shackled and give her a thumbs up and sign thanks. Uh, there's stuff also through, <laughs> the stuff's through in that room. Does anyone still have handcuffs on? I point to Brooks and, and Celeste. Celeste. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start picking the lock to Brooks. Oh, uh, no, no, I'd say this, you can still cast that because okay. it's a cantrip and it's not really that fucking intense. Well, if not, she could always just wild shape, cancel that, and then cast. Yeah, it's true. True, true, true. I am going to, uh, reload, re-grab my stuff. So, uh, okay. 
time. Nothing was touched, you know? Uh, no. no, I don't think so. At least, I don't, I don't, I don't think Kessel would have had the time. I had to make sure. <laughs> well, I, well, I had a good you had the time, marching. that is true. You had the time. But what, did, did, the alarm, did, did the alarm spell go off in Jax's head uh, in the time that yeah. you guys were being tested? I want to make sure you know that Kess, you know, she ain't trustable. <laughs> oh. Looking 44 oh. sessions deep, still have trust issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always. Just with her. It's, it's just Kess. Well, it's not trust That's issues, us. it's knowing your friends <laughs> and what they will do. <laughs> it's yeah. trusting that they will act like a fucking well, moron. Roll me yeah. two yes. uh, set of hand checks. Don't fuck up. Uh, one of those is a natural 20. Good. The other one is... Plus five, so... Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, so you, you pick the lock of the remaining two sets of shackles. Everyone's hands are free. Um, Hawthorne comes, like, flying back. Gotta do it now, because they're coming back! I'm gonna cast Mage Armor on myself. You Which have... Do? Like, you have... Less than a minute before uh, the bad men Mr. round DM. the corner. So, what do you want to do? When they put the shackles on, mm -hmm. do they just click them on? They just like you just slap them around something and they they lock. Yeah. Okay. Good to know, Mister DM. Hello. What is the size of this corridor? This corridor. Yeah. That they will uh, be running down. About twenty feet long, ten foot wide. Okay. Do you, do you collect your belongings or what do you do? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I, grab, so where, I, I got my stuff. Where are. Wait, did so Kesha just bring the bag of holding stuff with her? Did she bring the other belongings that were in that room? They were in the bag. Oh, no. Yeah. In, Not everyone. Not she just the told us. Shit. She told us to go grab it out of the room. Yeah, I don't, yeah, think, so I don't think Kesha brought anything. Then I'm fucking the, running the to that room. Out. I'm trying to find my stuff. Okay, we'll say that those that want to collect their stuff. That is all you can do before. That's fine um, as long as we get all my yeah, shit. Okay that's, that's fine by me. As long as, long as, long as it's yeah. all here, everything's here. Yeah. yeah, as long as everything's here, find all my stuff. Priority number one. Put it on. Just like, I'm gonna it, it, piss it, again. Is there the option to grab? <laughs> like, if I go to grab a single item, is that like I might as well grab everything? Either you might as well way, grab everything. I do. You might as well grab yeah. everything. I'll, okay, I will go grab my shit. Throw my fucking necklaces on, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Okay. Quick change. With, quick change. And with that. Um, Around the corner, uh, these seven fish-like creatures come back, see you up in arms, and Can I immediately... shoot an Eldritch Blast as they round the corner? Since I didn't have to pick up any stuff? Yeah, sure. I'll give you a chance to do that, because you weren't occupied doing other things. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Are we doing this quiet or loud? <laughs> I'm doing an Eldritch Blast, so... I mean, Eldritch Blast isn't like... We have louder. It's not like a railgun. Uh, that is a 24 to hit. 24 to hit hits, absolutely. 24. Uh, that's uh, 6 damage and 3 thunder. Hold. Mm -hmm. Hold. <laughs> 6 Hold and 3, so 9 total. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with that... I would like you all to roll initiative, but I think this might as well be our break point here, and then we'll roll initiative after the break, and we'll get into uh, combat. Woo, woo. I haven't rolled a figure right now. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Uh, reminder, we are raising money for charity. Uh, charity yeah. Select is upon us once again, raising money for special effects and amazing cause, exclamation mark charity. For more information, um, there's a link to Tiltify there as well. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for sticking around with us. Uh, so far, appreciate yous, and uh, we'll be back in a few. BRB. It's noise. Hey, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, oh. What the fuck hey, did you just say? Hey, oh. McDonald's noise TikToks. Ah. <laughs> it's these cats, <laughs> and it goes like beep boop beep boop. Yeah, I, I just Fuck. put two of them in the chat. What the fuck? Alrighty. So, you guys already gave me your initiative <laughs> rolls in the chat. Uh, yes, so, did. with that said, uh, first up are two of the uh, Sahuagin, as these creatures are called, uh, because they rolled natural 20s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, who again? Me. Sagondis. 
Um, so the, the Sahuagin that got blasted in the face by an Elder's Blast immediately uh, looks at Kes and just runs up and, and with its trident just goes to jammer in the jammer in the chest. Ooh, that's gonna be spicy. Uh, what was this man's is... fucking initiative? Mm -hmm. Natural what 20. What was this man's initiative? Not 20. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rage. for a 19 to hit? Yeah. Oh, wait! I forgot about bonuses. Hold on. Bonuses are important. Don't forget about Hold on. Them. I love what Bonus you build in Bonus for what? Hold. Hold. Just trying to figure out if a hit EC has changed. You need like a break screen for when Bell's doing yeah. that. <laughs> It's a beautiful mind. Stream, that's when the ad what did you say? You, you may jam it yourself, right? Oh, no, 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 yeah. That's so it's, <laughs> it, your AC right. is what, like 18 now? Yeah. So you take. 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 Um, uh, six points <laughs> of piercing damage. Yay. And after it stabs you, it's also going to try and bite you. Oh, what the fuck, dude? That's fucked up. Which oh, is a natural that 20. Oh, that leads into what we were talking about. Which, uh, Which nat 20 so just does initiative and bite. Yeah. I as of last week, uh, Laura, by it. the way, you missed this, but as of last week, I'm implementing the natural 20 like critical hit rule that we use in your campaign. Oh, um, nice. So right. you, they get max on their base damage one die and then it gets a roll, uh, just an extra one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but only we get that. Enemies don't get crits. Uh, this yeah, is not one D&D. I refuse. Yeah. Uh, so you I take. Like yeah, no. If we ever transition to like a new form of D and D, I'll probably take what I like from Five E, take what I like from One D and D, and just merge them together. Because there's a lot Same. of things in One D and D that might be cool, and I want to use. Oh, but there's also you. a lot of things that I want to don't want to use. Like that, like that whole rule of enemies can't crit. The can't fuck crit they now. can, <laughs> motherfucker. Yes, watch me. Not only really that, but spells <laughs> can't crit either. Yeah, that's BS. It's stupid. Uh, I hate it. You take another nine points of piercing damage, guess, from, uh, from being bitten by this. this like the way they, these guys look, by the way, there are these, like they're medium sized, like six foot tall, fish-like creatures. There's like sharp fins coming out of the, their cheeks, and this sharp like fin going from the top of their head all the way down their back. Like this Hagen from Final Fantasy fourteen, basically. These like yeah. like like webbed feet and 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 hands. But with a U. Um, yeah. For copyright purposes. Fucking gross. Uh, another one also rolled a natural 20. Uh, and is going to... How many of you are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus Celestia, so 8. So I'm just going to roll eight. D8. Okay. 9, including Onu. Uh, 10, including Chip. 10, including... 11, yeah. including... Yeah, okay, but they're not going to go for the pets. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they might Why not? Kill the pets animal. first, please. Mm, kill the pets first. Uh, 1, 2, 3... <laughs> Kai! <laughs> oh, I love that. You're also getting uh, you're getting speared, and instead of bitten, they are gonna claw you. Nice. So the Fuck spear that. is going to be a do, 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 seventeen to hit. Misses. All right. And the claw nice. also a seventeen to hit. Also misses. So he he just attempts to just <laughs> jam you with the spear, and it just it just kind of like bounces off your thick shell, then goes for the claw, and you kind of like duck down, and the claw just swipes over your head. I picture um, the head goes in. The, the head goes the in the, yeah. the head, and then the head comes back up. Uh, and that will make it Davian's turn. Whack a mole. I can't believe there's two people ahead of me in the in initiative. That's they both had natural twenties, man. Seven bad guys, two of them rolled twenty. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's Evan, even? Can I can I get a lay of the land here? Uh, yes, you can. The room you're in. If my map wants to open, hello. Hello. There we go. Jesus. Uh, for some reason, it, I clicked in my taskbar, clicked the image, and it opened behind Discord instead of over Discord. Nice. That was weird. Um, you are currently in a room that is about like like forty foot wide, forty foot long. So it's like a square room. Square. Uh, and these guys are all kind of like two of them have already entered the room because they attacked. The rest of them are, are still like in a in a in a twenty by ten foot corridor behind them, funneling in. And there's seven bad guys total. So two of them right already in one in, in Kess's face, one in Kai's face. The rest of them are still like five of them are coming through that tunnel. 
So if I say cast an entangle through the door, it wouldn't hit Kess and Kai, but it would hit the two bad guys, and possibly also some out in the corridor. What's the right? What's the the? It's uh, a twenty foot square. Uh, yeah, you could. Yeah, you could make it so that like the edge of it is where the two bad guys that are already in your faces uh, stand, and yeah. then uh, it'll it'll get the front two that are also in the corridor. So you'll have you'll you'll hit, potentially hit four in total. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that then. I'll I'll, okay. I'll cast an entangle out to the corridor. Is that a deck save? And uh, I'm... it's a strength save. Throw. Strength save, right? Yeah. Do, 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 do. It's a 14, an 11, an 8, and a natural 1. They all fail! There you go. Ooh, they so all cool. fail. Okay. So um. They are restrained. Wait. Yeah, they are restrained. Nice. And also, it's all difficult terrain now as well. Um, Hell yeah. To get, to get into the room. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Okay. So you, you, you cast a spell and these just like vines and roots come just bursting out of a floor, kind of like wrapping around uh, the Sahuagin's uh, legs that are affected by it, making them really hard to fucking move around. And this they, place kind of, isn't they kind of just like awesome. looking at it. This isn't waterlogged, is it? Sorry? It's not waterlogged, is There's it? There's like there... a few inches of water on the surface. So I don't know how that would affect your spell. Could you consider that swimming, swimmable? No. No, no, no. So Onu would not be able to swim currently. Speed. That would be correct, yeah. So he currently has his five foot running speed. Oh no, yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could I throw him. Oh, I can't. I use my action. There's no way I could throw him. With a bonus <laughs> action. So. I could throw uh, him. Uh, um... I could throw him. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So I guess. Who is this guy? Someone else eat the octopus. Who locked that door then? <laughs> God, <laughs> honestly. Um. <laughs> hmm. You can't, you can't hold a bonus action, can you? No, you can only hold your action. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's I. How, am I far back? Like how? I don't even. I assuming Ono is on me. I'll just he will move five feet towards. Okay. The door. Yeah, fair. Yeah, that's fair. All right, and that'll be my turn. Kidoki, Daigon. Um, so Kes got in here because Celesti did some molding of the earth and shit. How much? How much? How many feet of movement would it take me to get out the same way and get on the other side of the bars to where the guards uh, are? Well, you already are outside of the bars, right? Because you went to go grab your stuff, so you're already oh, like, collected uh -huh. in that room in front uh -huh. of your cell. Okay. <laughs> then how? How far? Are they from me? It's, it's small. It doesn't even matter. I can move so fast. It's fine. It's, it, um, nowhere near far enough for, for us to have to look at yeah. your movements. Like there, it's cool. it's not a very uh, big then space. I'm gonna um, go and start wailing on the one who was up in Cass's face. Okay. With my collapsible spear that I have regained. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do the thing where I, as I get within ten feet, I push the button to extend it, and so I'm trying to hit him as it extends and hits him. Your extendo stick. Extend. Oh, I did roll on the dice tray. That sucks. It was a good roll. And that one's not. Okay, but 17 total. Yeah, that hits. No, I, I lied. 18. That obviously still hits. That also hits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> e eight. So that's 11 piercing on the first stab stab. Okay. As it extends. And then on the second one, as I pull it back and go for another stabby stab. Ooh, 13. 13? Yeah. Also hits. Oh, sweet. Fuck yeah. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage for that one. Another 13 points of piercing damage. You, the initial stab, yeah. you just, you just kind of like halfway through your swing, the, the, the spear extends and just, just jabs into this guy's stomach. You then pull the spear out and then just with like an upward, almost like 
uppercut type swing just yeah. move it up and it just goes straight into like the 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 the, the, the top of the throat here and just goes straight up comes out of the back of the head oh, and it just is he dead yeah mm-hmm okay then is there another one within five feet of me or no uh um, yeah there's one also up in kai's face so you can yeah. okay then i'll do my bonus action for an unarmed strike just a regular one okay. and i'll do it by like sticking the my point of my spear in the ground and using it almost as like a lever or like pull to spin on to just do a spinning kick at the one i can also reach okay um you have advanced on this right yeah do i yeah from restraint true sick oh oh okay good because that was a natural three on that first one for that one so there we go that's better um for an unarmed hey, strike that's 21 yes and this is with my foot um, kick Oh, natural one. So six points of uh, bludgeoning damage for that one. Is my man eating a strope waffle, dude? Hold on. Yo, a man of culture. A man of fucking culture. I was culture. too, dude. People I'm fucking are. jealous. Go, I miss dude. them so much. I brought a strope waffle. Hell the little yeah. ones ain't shit. All right, you want a you want a big fat fresh, fresh one. one. Oh, big yep. fat fresh one. Oh, I was just oh saying, so dude. good. I debated making a hot chocolate purely to like sit this over the top until yeah, it's have the caramel like melt a little bit. Yeah, mm. dude. Mm. That's why I made a cup of tea. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, how much damage was that? Sorry, Laura. Six points of. Six points. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Is that That's your turn? My turn. Yes. Brooks. I mean, okay, nobody really answered my question as to whether we're doing this quietly or loud, so. Well, I mean, there's already well, just fucking... Yeah. My answer's always like, quietly. The, the... So there's there's one dude dead on the floor. Yes. And his there's body is just, like, slowly okay. being just, like, covered by these, like, roots and vines coming out of the ground from the Entangle spell. Almost as if, like, kind of covering it entirely. That's terrifying. I am... Suck him into the ground. So there's one just to give you uh, a little there's more. Uh, one there's one. Kai, right? uh, there's one in front of Kai. There's two more that are also restrained by the vines uh, at like the at the um, your end of the corridor, uh, and them kind of being side by side do, does kind of block out the rest of them from being able to walk in because they're blocking the way. And now well, they the cannot move. Are, like queued up behind those two to get in. Yeah, there's four more, no, three more queued up behind those two to get in, yeah. So that cluster of five, including the two that can't move. Aye. Oh, oh, like, are they packed in together? Uh, yeah. Are they within 20 feet of each other? Yeah. Are they oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just yeet a grenade in. Oh, uh, they only need to make a, so that happening. <laughs> they all need to make a DC 15 dexterity save. Real what quick, the save collapses Hello? on us. Any restraint have disadvantage on deck saving throws. It's good to know. So that would be two of them. I figured they might. This could uh, be gnarly. That's a 15, a 4, and a 3. The 15 uh, passes. And another 15. And a 4. So two of them pass, three of them do not. Two falls, okay. two 15s. I am. Um, so. I'm rolling very consistently today. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I was about to say that. That's I'm insane. I'm rolling pairs. Two nat 20s for, yeah. uh, for initiative. Yeah. Oh, you've got three nat 20. Three. Blah, 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 you know? That's what, they, that's what they say to each other when they're like getting exploded. Pretty much, oh, yeah. Uh, you're speaking Aquan, dude. Nice. Yeah, who, just, who knew? Kai's oh. just like, what, what did he call him, mom? This um, what? <laughs> Cat gutter orange river. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the, two, the two that made the save. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, eight points of piercing damage. Uh, math, yes. And the three that made it take 17 points of piercing damage. 17, holy mother of God. It's a fucking grenade. <laughs> it is a fucking grenade. You just hear, you just, you just chuck this grenade. You hear this loud as you just hear all five of them go. And then I gonna rage. Noise, dude. I could voice Murlocs in with Warcraft. Yeah, you could. Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna rage? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. You know what? 
Oh, I'm not gonna rage. Oh, he's gonna get stabbed. See? <laughs> Me whenever I launch Overwatch. <laughs> Same. <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Fuck, man. Am I gonna rage here? Going into the same thing. Yeah, there to my every, every time. time. I'm, so I'm gonna move you know what? Up to the, the two guys. I'm that not are gonna entangled. rage. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I'm you gonna didn't move talk? up to the two guys that are entangled. Uh, for to, to reach those two, you would have to like. Not that it's gonna be any big of a deal. You can get there, but you know the last few steps will be difficult to rain. But you, you have enough movement to make okay. that. Yeah. I have forty foot of movement speed. Does he? If somebody enters no. the, it no, just, no, no, no. it's, it's just only difficult to rain, right? That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Only Beautiful. when it's cast, do people have to make saves and shit. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Uh, I might as well rage. I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah. I can't flurry a Throwing a grenade doesn't count as an attack. <laughs> <laughs> throwing a grenade at someone doesn't count as an attack. Correct. So, I'm gonna rage and just stand there in front of them. Okay. That's me when I play Overwatch. Uh, alas. <laughs> that was so cool on fucking Sigma there. earlier. Dude, today, Dutch dude. hurt me this morning, bro. It was fucking bad. Man fucking wall, rage. dude. Uh, fucking wall, dude. <laughs> um, I, that, like, funnel ball sort of neck area where mm -hmm. there's those two... In the door. Um, in the in the door. The door. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cast a moonbeam, just like in that gap. Okay. Trying to not make. Is there a place I can put my to fucking just don't muller the shit out of Brooks with it as well? What I'll is, put it um, like behind. What's the di diameter or whatever? It's, it's it is a five foot radius. So five foot. So ten, ten foot across. Ten across. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm just double checking it is a five foot radius. I mean, you could five you foot, could yeah, center that on like that cluster that got hit by the grenade and hit four of them. I mean, done. I yeah. mean, like Moonbeam into Entangle. I just picture that the scene in Harry Potter when yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. all the vines. Okay, like, what are they called? The fucking plants. Right, right, right. Devil's Devil's snare. Snare. Yeah, Devil's snare. yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that? Uh, do I have to do anything at the start? Uh, the only turn? it's on the turn. Right. Whenever a creature enters the spell area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, I think DD's weird. Where if you put it on someone, it doesn't count. It's fucking stupid. Okay. How stuff is? Well, welcome to D and D being worded really fucking stupidly. <laughs> oh, worded real well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just we'll just say on the start of the turns, or if they move into it. Yeah. All good. All good. Uh, anything else? Ah, I think. Fuck it. Yeah, it's not when you first cast it, it doesn't because yeah. it's forced. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, originally it was, but then yeah, Sage I, in Baldur's Gate it does. Funnily enough. Yeah, Baldur's Gate does. <laughs> yeah. Because Baldur's Gate, a lot Gate, of things Baldur's shouldn't Gate, happen. Like you can shove as a bonus action. Yeah, this so. is to make it yeah. more playable as a fucking RPG, right? Like in that sense. In but that, also, like, context. Uh, Baldur's Dude, Gate is that based on base five E. Anyway, uh, yeah, that'll anyway, be, that be a turn. That'll be a turn. Beautiful. Yep. Uh, that's Lazarin Hawthorne. That's you, Kes. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh shit. Um. Let me at him. Let uh, me at him. <laughs> Hawthorne's gonna shoot the one that like fucking stabbed me, dude. That one is dead. Is he? Cool. That one got the one impaled by uh, by Dagon. Yeah, yeah these guys kind of. put a collapsible spear through his frontal. Oh lobe. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Uh, how dare you. Ish lobotomy. I got distracted by Stroopwolf. Anyway, uh, the one next to it. I'll allow it. Okay, the one in, up in Kai's grill. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> That's not good. This is absolutely not going to hit. Zero. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> it's not going to hit. Well, give me a fucking um, number then, Belfollomew. It is a nine. That is indeed not going to hit. Hawthorne <laughs> <laughs> fires an arrow, it. shoots a glance at you, Kess, and just looks very disappointed and sad, and that's his turn. <laughs> uh, unless you want him to move anywhere, you can you can you can tell him to go somewhere. But nah, he's he's cool where he is. Okay. Uh, and now it's, uh, I put Kess first, assuming that Kess had more decks than Kai did. Am I correct in that assumption? Probably. You, you also did the same with Brooks and that's right. Yeah, and also, Kess has a 15 out of 13, so. Okay. Wait, what? Count Someone point. Am I crazy? No. What? I had a... Okay. I don't know what I had. What's your dexterity, Koiver? Is it... Nine. 
It's 19, plus 4. Oh. Oh. Mine's also plus 4. Get fucked, idiot. Well, I've got go. a higher initiative bonus than you. Yeah, that's fair. There you go. Um, that's, what, that's what we said last time. I swear, okay, funny. whatever. I fuck it. Uh, because I have a rock. Then I then I accidentally put it in the right order because I had cast first and then Kai. So, yeah. misread and still put it in the right order. So get freaked. I uh, checked. Cast. Yeah, bells first. Um, I'm going to. Yeah, fuck it, dude. I fucking hate these people. I'm gonna cast Shadow Blade. Uh, hey. and attack the same one that, uh, fucking Hawthorne shot at and failed miserably. Failed miserably. <laughs> Why do you guys oh, hate man. your pets so much? <laughs> because they're shit. Alright, so you summon this, 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 this shadow blade in one of your hands and you just, you just go for, for the, 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 the Sahuag in, uh, in front of Kai? Yep. Okay, yeah, go for it. Roll attack. That sounds like a fun word to say. Sucks. <laughs> uh, that is a uh, plus eight, so twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hits. It's funny as well because on the enemy beyond, you can like have them pronounce monster names for you, and Matt Mercer really puts the emphasis on the hua. Like he goes sahua again, so it's it's really like you really have to emphasize the hua. Apparently, that's funny. Hua. Probably because that's what keeps it from being another copyrighted race. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. It would be the other way around. I'm sure they were a thing of 5e before they were a thing of Final Fantasy, but... Yeah, so who again, been around for a while. So who wow. again, go back to... Check. True, my bad. Thinking of when I found, heard of the term versus when it was actually came first. Yeah, same here. Oh wait, is it dim light? Dimly lit, yes. Yeah, I have advantage. Can I roll a second one in case I get a crit? Yeah, of course. She has a dice not. that's just twenty. I do 20. not. I do not. Uh, uh, that was a. Yeah, so who again? 14... Go back to first edition, dude. They've been around for a while. Fourteen psychic damage. Fourteen psychic damage. And three thunder. You just stick the shadow blade like in this guy's lower abdomen, and it just it. There's almost no resistance. It just glides in and glides through, and you just pull it out, and you can see this guy's just like innards start falling out of the wound, and he just <laughs> drops down, and he's, he's dead. Very dead. Yes. Very dead. And that's it. Okay. Uh, Kai. So, the two that are in front of me are gone. Uh, yes. How many are left? Uh, five. Two of them at like the your end of the corridor that leads into your room, both also entangled by uh, roots and vines sprouting out of the ground, sprouting, sprouting out of the ground. <laughs> okay, sprouting. I will walk up to them, so I'm yeah. in front of them, and don't really want to use all of this, so I'm just gonna do the good all running finger around the blade green flame and poke the one on the right okay um i have to see how this works because i can also make it jump over to someone else let me show that works in fact it okay good so that's not 20 to hit really yeah hmm. i'll i'll mm -hmm. go as far as saying that it hits you okay. that's good Okay, where's my... I probably saw that is. Uh, green flame blade, hold on. I quickly yeah, have it open as it. well. So mm -hmm. he takes 6 plus 5, 11, 12, 13 slashing damage. 13 slashing damage, yes. okay. And then I roll this, so that is 8 plus 5, 13 fire damage. He's very dead. <laughs> very good. Okay. Uh, and it says here on a on a hit, uh, it does, and then you can cast green fire to leap from the target to a different creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of it. Yeah. So the guy right next to him, I guess. Uh, it takes okay. fire damage equal to your spellcasting ability modifier. So yeah, what is your spellcasting ability modifier? Uh, it's five. Five. Yeah. And that is one of the people that uh, got heavily affected by the grenade, and he had exactly five hit points left. So you. Swing your your blade, your green flame blade down, 
like just go diagonally across this this one sahu again he collapses and from like as the body is falling to the ground the green flame just jumps over to the guy next to him and he just also just just starts catching fire you hear him just and he just he also just he goes up in a big poof of cloud and green flame and he just yeah no more so that uh, makes it so that there's three left and they're all like at the back half of the the corridor I think I will just... Is that all of the ones that were restrained dead? Huh? Is that all of the ones that, that were restrained dead? Correct. Yeah. Have the other three acted yet? Uh, no. Okay. Um, uh, that's, that's my turn. So, remind me of what Chip's initiative was? Chip's was... Uh, seven... Hold up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Uh, seven, yeah. Seven, okay. What's Chip's dex? Chip's is fucking nice. I have no clue. Was an owl. Rip ship. He matches with one of the baddies. Um, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, so Chip goes first. Oh, great. Um. Chip gets out of the back and flies and lands on my shoulder. Just, that's... Alright. Uh, cool. Yeah, fair enough. Um... Oh, wait, this guy doesn't get the turn because he's fucking dead. I love that implication because of that. It means that Kai, when he got his stuff, didn't rescue Chip from the bag. <laughs> and Chip just had to go himself out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so fuck it, my bag is going out. I like to think that Chip was like in the um, corner, just like flip flapping against the bag the whole time. It is now Celeste's turn. What goes before? And what she's fun. going to. What is she going to do? She's gonna just cast a Torn Whip on one of the the baddies down the hall. Which is a 22 to hit, so raw, absolutely. For 2d6 damage. Where's all my d6s? There they are. For 9 points of damage total. The, the thorn whip just like wraps around one of these uh, fish creatures' necks. She pulls it and it just, it just completely decapitates this, uh, this creature. Okay, Jax. Our mommy's got a whip, dude. Uh, Our um, mommy has a whip. <laughs> yes. So you know there's why I heard three of them alive now? Sorry? Right? There's three, there's three left? Uh, There's now two left after the one that's oh, uh, two. supposed to be finished. My counting was off. All right, well, I guess I won't do that then. And all my plans get fucked because everybody else gets to do things before me because I have a shit initiative, dude. It kind of sucks. Hey, slightly less shit um, than normal, though, for the next seven days. Yeah, fantastic news from it's now minus one to initiative or whatever. <laughs> Great. Hey, man. Um, Every little bit helps. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I didn't activate my armor, so I'm stupid. I can't do it, actually. Uh, can I... I'll cast Ray of Frost on... One of them? Whatever's closer. Uh, They're both equidistant, so you know, take your pick. Left. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, that's a natural 20. Okay. okay. Uh, so with that, uh, you get max damage on uh, the, the original damage die. It's a minimum roll, of roll an extra 18. One. Yeah, yeah, minimum of 18. Yeah, yeah. So, he, you just freeze him solid and his body just crumbles into pieces oh. of ice over the floor. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Sorry? Uh, okay. My that turn. means there's one more Sahuagin left. Uh, it is now its turn, so it will take damage from the... You make a constitution saving throw, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please die. So that's a nine. Ah, uh, that fails? Mm -hmm. a fucking A fucking course. I roll two dice, don't I? Oh, you know what's gonna happen, boys? Hey! Two twos? Two twos, no, baby. Actually, it's not too bad. One of them was a one. But it's a seven points of damage. Seven points of damage? Yeah. And this guy will just like begin to move. 
and before it like gets to take one step, it just burns up in a white light, and just there's nothing left. He's Which means that uh, that is uh, right in front of me. The fight yeah. over for now. You hear a legend breathe a sigh of relief as he's just like, "Thank God for that!" It's like that. Thank God for that. Was the spell wasted? <laughs> I'll, I will drop it before anyone fucking moves into it. Okay. I want to go. <laughs> my turn, my turn, my turn. That, that's the time I rolled 20 on the damage. <laughs> like, It'll teleport oh. me to space. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, that's how we get to the moon. <laughs> so with that, um, Celeste will, uh, will look at you all. That wasn't too bad. How hurt is Kess? Oh, uh, a little bit. Eating, right? <laughs> Um, I'll cast a. I'll send my spider over as it do a little level one cur wounds. Oh, okay. Cure wounds. Oh, okay. Cure wounds. Cur wounds. Cur wounds. <laughs> Wait, why am I D20 is not what I roll for that. What's no, it's not. Yeah. Do the <gasps> fish people count as humanoids? Any chance? Oh, no. I believe they oh, do. What do you yes. mean, oh, no? Because of his subclass. Uh, yeah, humanoid. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Um, that's 14 points of healing. Okay. Once Kai kills a certain number of humanoids, he becomes a villain. He just becomes a villain. Basically, <laughs> he absorbs their bodies to make a shell bigger. He goes sicko mode. <laughs> Eventually, he's just like a radar dish of a shell. No, dude, just start seeing like another the head. Shell's actually the, uh, <laughs> the shell's actually the corpse of the the real he's turtle. A hydro turtle. The and real Kai's turtle. Just he's, just like, he's just like he's like. You know, these parasites that can, like, take control of, like, they ants and shit. Oh my god, like yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm... so... Is there just that one hallway out of the room, or is there other... Currently, yeah. Points of exit? No, okay. currently the only way out of this room is, is that corridor. Shall we head forward, then? I'm gonna There's activate my armor there. before I forget, as well. Okay. I, I will give everyone 300 feet dark vision. Nice. Oh, sorry, six blink rate one. Two, three. Yeah, yeah, okay. If, if Burks doesn't want it because he's going to be a little bitch boy and be ill, I'll give it to fucking Celeste instead of him. Hell doesn't yeah. Celeste have, like, infinite dark vision or something stupid? Oh, have a look. I don't think so. She fucking does now! <laughs> Celeste oh, has a 60 foot dark vision. It's 300 now. Give it to Celeste. Like, Burks sees you look at him as, like, just points yeah, it's, it's, it's just see, see, see like it's doing the like, ritual you've seen me do like countless times and it's just that look it's that look at you just staring and like <laughs> <laughs> do i do it am i gonna uh, see enough with 60 it, foot i will start walking down the hallway mm -hmm. yeah i'll go with and i don't Before think we'll be stealthy because we launched a grenade so uh yeah we're I think stealth out the window stealth is out we could be stealthy from this point they don't know we survived until they find the bodies. Before I mean, but they, they we have to go. Walked out, you also Kai have a man in plate armor. Yeah, Kai wants to ask Would we like an extra person around? Oh, he's gonna. What do you mean by an extra bodies? person? <laughs> and he just goes on his knees by one of the, the fish people no! and be like, uh, Well, maybe some kind of. Meet you just in case. Um, I will have to. I will have to decline that offer. That's a great idea. Unfortunately, I. It's abhorrent. And all right, raise your hand if you think it's okay. I mean, unfortunately, I. I kind of like have my holy sim. I'm like, I don't think my um patron would be too happy. Not that I know. Well, it's not you doing it. Like, He's not bringing leave, them back to life. If you leave some life. corpses, if you leave it's some just a change. friend to help. The reanimation, the reanimation of a body and un making them into undeath is perverse. <laughs> in like a like you like it way or like a you don't like in it like way? in the sort of way where I don't like it. <laughs> it's surely. I mean, it disrupts the soul, particularly... and that's what's. I I have to admit it gives me the creeps. But oh, if, I don't care about the creeps. The but if I like, you know, to, uh, puts a couple of gold coins in the dude's chest when we're done with it, I think that's it? even Can more fucked even up. Sure no, because isn't it a trade? <laughs> Wouldn't that make Joaquin happy? I mean, all living beings have a soul. <laughs> this thing won't. But like plants. you know, if have you, you pay him for his time, is it is it something <laughs> Joaquin would approve of? 
Are you calling me soulless? Well... What do you mean, well? We'll put it this way, I'll be very un You can do what you like, Kai, it's fine. Just uh, know I will be on the warier side, and at least I've done my bit uh, and say you should Think of it this way, Lazarin. It's a, uh, a, a trap uh, breaker. That doesn't... I don't... I just couldn't care about that bit. It's the whole, you know... If I disguise myself... Moving it onto undeath instead of letting the soul rest. Uh, it's, it's not undeath. Out. It's just you know. a... It's literally undeath. It's sort of... Okay, well, what if, but, no, 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 no. What if the soul has already left, been well on its way, and he's just sort of no, animating what, Kai, what left exactly are you doing to the body? What sort of magic? Well, Did it, like, animate object? Because, you know... No, I haven't used it... I haven't used it too much. But Corpses are objects. As long as... The creature has passed, the body can still move and be useful sometimes. It's, it's just a walking corpse, it's not a death. Uh, Kai would know that this specific spell, if I'm looking at your sheet right, uh, it, the wording says that it imbues the target with the foul mimicry of life, so you're technically not fucking with its, like, spirits or anything. You're just making the body move. But it is foul. <laughs> it's foul. It's so Kai, just the, it's Kai, a foul Kai would know that it's, it doesn't pervert, like, its soul or anything. It is just you're, you're making the body move and do as you want it to. It's unnatural, yeah. but it's not necessarily yeah. like. Immoral. I'm not. If if it is the soul you were worried about, I'm not touching that. Oh, that's fine then. Do what you want. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were making a complaint. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, mean, I would <laughs> rather not have it near me. But I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still <laughs> fucked up on so many ways. But you know, it's not creating an undead sort of being. It's just animating a a, a corpse. But sure, go ahead. You know, it's just uh, moving in like a puppet. I don't really know what Joaquin's business with people's souls is anyway. I mean, she, you know, she can worry about They are great that. bargaining chips, apparently. I mean... Well, that's even more wanted, gross, isn't it? If we yes, wanted, I mean, like, I didn't uh, say it was one right for another. I just said I don't well, like it. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. If we wanted some level of advanced party, there's a few of us that could disguise ourselves as one of these fuckheads. Nah, it doesn't seem worth it. I don't it. think... I, don't, I think they, they know we're here. They know we're probably going to escape. Surely they're not yeah, stupid we're enough to think we shit. weren't going to be escaping this. I'm thinking more purely of someone that's like 50 foot ahead that can peek around a corner. I think we just go. We're wasting time. I, I, I mean, was, no. I'm gonna set off down the corridor. Would it be worth having okay. Celeste try to uh, locate the spear thing, trident that we need? Oh, yes, that is an excellent point. That has an excellent point. But it, it, hmm? Sorry, that, I heard my name. What happened? Does that locate spell of yours? Does it tell you, like, the best way to get to it? Does it just say it's in this direction this far away? Uh... Was it like, oh, you know, it's. Did it just come uh... it? It, it's it's Jack Sparrow's compass. Um, yeah, I I know that in ca like our character. I know what the fucking local object spell does, but in character I don't. Um. Well, luckily yeah. for you, I did read up on this item a lot, so I am quite familiar with it. Even though I haven't actually seen it, uh, I do know it well enough so I could use a spell on it. Um. Um. I can I can sense its location, so I know I could it's basically I could basically if I cast it, uh, I'll be able to tell you. Oh, it's 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 that way. Um, yeah. I mean that should be good enough. It's a good point. It's where we find out it's like right on top of us, and we just have to go up or down. You know, I doubt it. But you never know. It's, is it worth a try if you don't mind using up a spell? Um. Yeah, it's fine. I can do that. And she'll cast Locate Object. She'll look at you all. Oh. Wow. Small... issue. I can sense it in three different directions. I don't really know what to make of this. It it's my... Suddenly it's over there. Now it's over there. Now it's over... 
Wait. I signed the cast. Does she mean it's moving around between three places, or it's simultaneously in three places at once? And I'll repeat her. that. Um, I don't know. Well, maybe it's in three parts. Maybe this place is just absolutely fucked. That could be it. It could be that because I'm trying to locate the object as a whole, but it might be in pieces, and I'm, I'm detecting all the several pieces of it. I mean, it's a trident, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't you? Oh no, because if you change what you're thinking about, you'll have to cast an. Yeah, this is about as good as gonna get without me tapping out my I, resources. I think for just now it will do you, you have the three locations we know the directions roughly D mm -hmm. do you know can you sense how far away each one is or is it just a direction uh, as long as it's within a thousand feet of me I, i'm pretty sure i just know exactly where it is right where it is yeah right in the direction as well yeah uh, yeah but you don't know you don't know like oh it's roughly 500 is directly across from us uh about Two hundred, two hundred and fifty feet away. The closest by piece. Let's go. Then we go there first, surely, and then we can figure it out from there. Well, assuming that it says it's straight ahead, but who knows behind how much wall and yeah, right. Like it's, it's, I, we might we have to I, go yeah, around. That I don't know, but I just know that it's it's you know directly across from this corridor we're in, two hundred fifty feet that way. Well then, running. Yeah, we'll just be going. Okay, you I mean, uh, enter a uh, large open chamber as you exit the corridor, uh, surrounded by various tunnels that will that lead west, but you also see a, a, a way out northwest and northeast of this room. Uh, the floor of this room is covered is still covered by by like a, a clear like three or four inches of water, but in the center of it, you see that there's a giant chasm diagonally going from the southwest corner to the northeast corner. The first ten feet on each of those sides. Very thin, but as it gets close to the middle of the room, it expands, becomes larger in the middle. Um, and it's about a 20-foot gap from one edge to the other uh, at its middle point. Um, as you kind of, like, look, look uh, the chasm itself is about 70 feet in length from, like, one point to the other point. And as you look down it, it just seems to go on and on and on. They don't really see a bottom of it just by looking down it. That's like that. nice. Do we have to cross it to get to the other little way she was pointing? Uh, yeah, but you would be able to kind of edge around it to get to the parts where you would be able to step over it. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. What do you think that's yeah. for? I... I'm probably for ritual sacrifices, no? Oh, yeah. Might have seen so. Probably. Well, good thing I don't detect anything down there then. We can all the see, hiding see down there, right? Like, because hmm? we have like two hundred foot dark vision. Yeah, three hundred. It, it go, it's feet? very deep, and you don't see an end. You don't see an end. That's not good. Wait, and it's just empty, like it's just a void. Like there's yeah, not water. Just well, it's empty. water, but it's oh, you know, okay. it's filled, completely filled with water to the brim. Oh, but, uh, but then blackness. Yeah. But then blackness. Yeah. Void of light. Just casual exactly. Aboleth down there, dude. We've got some thalassophobia happening right now. <laughs> Subnautica well, D&D. I, I throw Onu in. Subnautica D&D. Yeah, Octopus Onu! Yeah. Is Onu like, just swimming around, or is he actually going Yeah, in? he's going to have a little swim around. Okay. So have you decided on, on a name for your second pet? In case Onu never comes back. Onu will be fine. <laughs> Even when Onu dies, he comes back as Onu. Is speaking of souls, you know. There are worse <laughs> things than death. As you uh, oh, drop Onu soul. in, uh, like just in oh, the water, come off it. he can uh, he can, <laughs> he starts swimming around, and you can hear him kind of like start squealing <laughs> as the water is like bubbling and this like very hot steam suddenly begins to uh, begins to like okay, erupt from okay, it okay, okay, okay. the just, second like, the second something like wrong, sh you. swims back to you like wraps yeah. himself around your leg and he's like mm, 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 mm. so like I tell I'm as, and as Onu leaves the water the bubbling stops and the steam disappears oh oh my god that's gross 
Um, did he take any damage or is he okay? He's fine. He was just like, it was just like, a, get out. Okay. Okay, so no one take any, you know, little dips because apparently you'll be boiled. I mean, it's a bit dark, but I, I don't even know how that works, to be honest. I mean, neither. Yeah, I'm just going to edge around that and uh, continue on towards where the piece is. Okay. I'm trying to fuck with that. You couldn't go around it. Isn't it blocking? Yeah, like, no, 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 you, you can, can step over it. Oh, you can step over it. Oh, okay. Like in, at its middle points in the center of the room, it's a 20 foot, like, gap from one to another but towards the like uh, edges uh the, the the chasm becomes uh, a lot less wide okay okay um okay let me grab my mapperoni you make your way into a smaller chamber uh you can this this chamber has has three exit points one that goes north and you can see it kind of connecting with the same tunnel network that you saw leaving the northwestern corner of the chamber you were just in. Uh, there's also a room to the south and a room... Uh, and, 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 um, let me rephrase that. There's a room to the south that uh, doesn't have a door in it, but you can see that there's not a chamber. These walls and, and, and ceilings all covered in, in crystals once more, but this room seems to be particularly... has a lot more crystals in it than, uh, than the rooms you've seen before. On this, on this room, they also kind of like... Instead of just being on the ceiling, they also kind of like make their way down the wall. Are they just like the generic crystals? crystals? Uh, make a nature check. I was actually going to ask if I could do the same thing. Can actually, I make a nature check? Uh, Can I investigate them? Yeah, make a nature check. Nature Jax. Good. What, what is it that Jax is trying to figure out like specifically? Uh, whether they're like natural crystals or if there's like something special to oh, them. Oh, let's make an Arcana check instead. If, uh... Oh, sick! Yeah, dude, I get an extra bonus for that. Yeah, we'll dive into the nature check. Okay. Fine. Uh, I got an eighteen on the nature check. Eighteen. Um, yeah. these crystals do seem natural. They they emit a faint uh, light, you know, kind of dimly lighting up the room uh, that comes from within it, but it's not like someone has enchanted these otherwise mundane crystals to emit that light. It's just something that they do naturally uh, in the wonderful worlds uh, that we live in. Um, Jax? How much? 24. 24. You look at them and I, there, there's some innate magic to them to be able to light oh. up this way, but it's not like... They're not enchanted or anything. It does seem to just come from the item itself and, and is something innate to the uh the crystals how big are the crystals various sizes some of them a few inches some of them a little bigger um Interesting. uh doesn't one of a... you have like an insane passive perception yes uh right. yeah yes. uh, of course it's Kess. i have like a 19 yes minus minus 23 Jeez. 23. Oh my yeah, god! I, Mine's no. 17, and I thought Mine, that was Yeah, high. my passive perception is 19. Okay, well, Kai, in that case, fucking hell. You notice that all of these crystals are lit up, except for some of the crystals on the uh, the west wall that strikes you as. Like, this is the only patch of crystals that you've seen that aren't lit up yet, or aren't lit up, which strikes you as odd. Okay, I will uh, say to the group, like, they all give up light, except once over there maybe nothing but there might be more to it Does that speak uh, how far away are the all? ones that aren't giving off light in feet sorry how far away are the ones that aren't giving off light uh brr. from the like oh. entryway into this oh, chamber I it's about 20 feet away okay um i think let me check the range on this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I want to take one of my just little darts from my bag and throw them at the crystals that aren't lighting up and see if anything happens. The dart hits the crystal. They like... Uh, it hits one of the crystals. Normally, they explode. They it explode. hits one of the crystals and it just like... Kind of like starts humming a little bit and it then lights up. The crystal hums and lights up? Yeah. Huh. Does does it what? crack or break at all, or like does the dart hit it and bounce off, or is it the, just dart the dart just the hit it and bounced off? Yeah. Okay. Light up all of them. I was I signed a cast. Maybe 
it's a puzzle and there's an order they have to be lit up in to open a, a door behind it. Maybe, maybe ask her to we'll have share to be the group. Up. I'll, I'll try it. Sorry? What's happening? She passed on to the group what I said about okay. maybe there's an order they have to be lit up in. And Kess's other also add-on was, or maybe they all have to be lit at the same time. So thoughts, group. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean we could Dorm try is light light fading the from the crystal doll. Um, Laura, roll d8. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Where did my d8 go? There it is. Three. Three. Okay. Uh, the light stays on for a few seconds and then fades. Okay. How many? Oh, something. hold on. Yeah. Is this a is this a like patch like a, a like a patch of crystals that all lit up at once and there's several patches of or is this like a one crystal that didn't light up and then we hit uh, it there's a up? it seems to be as you kind of like look closely closer look at it there's a lot of crystals everywhere but this yeah is one like patch of crystals that isn't lit up and um they kind of like this the 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 ones that aren't lit up kind of form a, a, a like a vague circle. And then, so, Diagon struck one, and just the one that was struck lit up. Correct. And, and then after a few seconds, faded again. There's eight total. Could Kai investigate him to see if he can see some connection between between them or something? Uh, make an investigation check. Investigation. Come on. Uh, plus three. 21. Uh, you kind of like touch a few of them and it seems that you touch them. Uh, you deduce that you touched two and as soon as you mm -hmm. touch one after the other, both of them turned off again. So you deduce that there is some kind of like you have to hit them in a certain order to, to have them all light up. To open up the uh whatever it might open up uh, okay can can i try and trace the shape of a trident in the patch or like touch the crystals to make a trident see if it's the right uh, no it's, it's, okay. uh, does it look like there's anything in this room that looks so just more other than seeing that there's this circle of like eight mm -hmm. that are right is there anything that Looks similar to that in almost like an inverted way, or just any sort of like hints or clues onto what it could be if it's like a code or like it's a certain number just seems to be pressed. Uh, otherwise, this room you're in is pretty it's fucking pretty, empty. It's pretty empty. Yeah. Uh, can I go check that on the floor? Empty cavern that's near a door. What was that? Sorry, uh, Jax? So there's like a little like space off to the side that didn't have a door or something like that. There's like a More like a, a space that opens up into another room to yourself to the south. Yeah, take like a little peek over there. See, if there's something might. Celeste will say, this. by the way, that um, pretty sure it's behind that, and she'll point at the crystal, uh, the crystals that you guys have been fucking with. Oh, the trident piece. Yeah. She's talking about. Yeah. Uh, Jax, you go into the room to the south, and uh, yeah. you see a small, a, a few small uh, barnacle-covered chests. Okay. Three of them in total, a to be exact. Locks? Uh, they are, yes. How big are they? Um... But not, like, proper, like, like chest chests. They're just small little... Yeah. Like a, more like a lockbox kind small, of thing. No, like in between a chest and a lockbox, kind of like a, like a small like coffer type vibe. It's like a like like. All right. Uh, I will try to unlock them. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Make you make a check with your thieves tools. That's. Uh. Seventeen. Seventeen, you do manage to ask after you kind of like 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 break off some of the barnacles that are that have grown over the lock. You can kind of like scratch out any remaining residue of a barnacle, kind of like in the lock mechanism. But once you've done that, you yeah you you pick the lock pretty fucking easily. 
Um, this chest in particular has some sets of clothing in it, but that have, that have been completely drenched. They're soaking wet. Nice. Uh, anything in the pockets of the clothing? Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, 18. You find a small medallion. Uh, that when opening it, there's like a small drawing of, um... A woman's, like a fake sketch of a woman's head, like in the medallion. A locket. A locket, yes, exactly. The the locket itself is 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 made from, it would, yeah, so it's just like a silver material. Uh, so hmm, it might be worth a couple pennies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess I'll move on to the next. Uh, that one, not quite as good, but 15. Uh, yeah, barely, but you do manage to just open up the, uh, the second chest as well. A few drenched coin purses, uh, meet your eyes. Uh, in total, you find about seven, uh, 37 gold pieces, like spread among them. Abby? Better than nothing. Hmm? And the last one. Oh, uh... 19 on that one. 19? Yeah, easy enough. Uh, third chest contains two bundles of uh, 20 arrows uh, that seem usable, uh, as well as two gold rings and three bracelets. All seeming very mundane and plain, they're just made of gold. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, the gold rings estimated value is 30 gold each, and the bracelets are 50 gold each. That was, uh, how many rings and how many bracelets again? Two rings, three bracelets. Uh, nothing over there in the cavern. So, the, the these, these is... crystals. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on closer inspection that might give away their like purpose of the order in which we we light them up. Would you like to check? I would love to check. Make an investigation check with uh, yeah, your goggles, right? Yeah, you still have those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eyes of minute seeing. Yeah. Um. Twenty one. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you kind of really get up close and and, and look at them, uh, you do notice one thing uh, about them is that they're not all the same size. Not one of them is the same size as the others. Okay. Can I hit? them in size smallest to biggest yeah and as you do that uh you do it to all eight of them and they all light up and at that point the wall hey. in which these crystals are embedded kind of like raises out of the floor and behind it it reveals a small hidden room uh you find an altar decorated with shells and crystals similar to the ones lighting up the ceilings everywhere uh, there's a small uh, altar with, with some religious iconography uh, kind of like scratched in it. Uh, and on the altar you find or you see just a, just a rod with, uh, with kind of like a, a round sphere on its base that could look like the bottom of a trident. Like the bottom shaft. bit. Shaft. Bottom bit the of the shaft of the, of the handle, trident, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and there's also a oh, no. letter. There's also a letter under it, like on oh. the on the altar. Uh, is the religious iconography reminiscent of the bitch queen that we've seen? Oh, absolutely, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, you would be. Cool. No, I just want to no, make sure it's it's Vecna. Indubitably. It's Vecna. <laughs> it's Vecna. <laughs> it's Vecna. <laughs> You're dead. Is Vecna and Shroud at the yeah, same time? Uh, yeah, you can. Goat man is back. All right, what's the letter say? Uh, Evendur, it has come to my attention that there's a group of miscreants meddling with the king. Tighten the defenses around our sanctuary. If these maggots decide to come here, make sure you have the manpower to subdue them until our arrival. Signed, your queen. Yas, queen. I just show it to the group and, like, kind of, like, chuckle. Okay. Subdue us. We're miscreants. <laughs> Yay. It might not be about us. Maybe there's another group. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I doubt it, though. <laughs> maybe it's those guys down on the beach. 
She called you oh. miscreants and maggots in the same phrase. That's what a bitch. A big fan of alliteration. Uh, perhaps we're the miscreant maggots. We're not. No. 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 Right. I right. workshop that far idea. Far enough, I think. I'd workshop that one. To be honest. But I can I can safely say that that like the, that thing is one of the things that I'm picking up. So. Uh, how much longer can you sense it? That's Celestia's thinking noise. Um, she's oh, she's, no, she's quite incarnate. A few more minutes. So, just know that They're one of them normally. seems to be straight north from here, and the other one is northeast from here. Both about any other... both about five hundred feet away from this point. Is there any exits to this room that are in those directions? Or There's do we one of the back? This is where we came end, from. Uh, but you yeah, do so know that the, the, the chasm room has exits yeah. that lead those directions. Yeah. Okay. Then I suggest we head back to the uh, that other room and see which uh, which I guess tunnels it is to go into. Direction wise, well, hope that those tunnels go straight and they don't wind round and come back on us, and we have to try and figure it out from there. I'm making a lot of assumptions about this place that it was laid out in a way that made sense. Why not? I mean, is it at least worth marking the tunnels we go down so we don't get it stuck in a loop? Definitely. Well, like leaving idea. a trail of breadcrumbs. Uh, no, just like a I'm mark on the walls. In here. A mark on the wall, or maybe leaving an item, or both, just in case. Oh, Davian, I have these two bundles of arrows for you. Oh, thanks. I'll throw them in uh, my, uh, you look at the arrows, and um, quiver, whatever it's called. these arrows seem seem a little more crude than you're used to. Um, definitely not like elven or human. Right. Do you reckon? That this 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 particular set of arrows is you recognize the the handiwork to be more of a, like a half orcan um, design. Just a little more like we'll do the job. Just a little more crude, a little, little less flashy, and more just effectiveness over the way it looks. As long as it works, it works. Right. So no oh. no yeah. I don't need to mark it down as anything separate. No, just... they're just. Okay. Little flavor for you. And how many? What? Two bundles of twenty? Yes. Yeah. Just a little flavor for you. Okay. Ooh, what okay. flavor? Okay. Fuck you. Go guy Furious here. Those no. flavor town. No. Stop. Cease. Uh, back to the main room then. Yep. I'll leave us back to the main room. I. Uh, she said it was northeast and which direction? Pretty much straight north. north. So straight you north, see right? that there's two right tunnel north, networks okay. leading out of this chasm room. One goes one way, one goes the other way. And she essentially said that there's there's a piece of the trident at the end of each of them. Nice. But <laughs> the one that goes left heads up to the one that goes right, and the one that goes right heads up to the one that goes left. It's really fucked with you. <laughs> and which way do you think is safer, Kai? I have no clue, but north it sounds easier. Fair enough. I'll lead us north, I guess. North is right. in. As you leave the northern side of this, um, ah, closer to northwest, actually, but you know, whatever. Uh, straight north, north from where actually. you were, northwest from the chasm room. Uh, you immediately get to a fork in the fork in the road that either goes left oh. or right. Fuck. Oh. Uh, and should we flip a coin? Right. Don't suppose it's right. a street sign. It's oh. like left, certain death, right, trident, or something. No Aquin written on the walls for. Is there a, is there a no, breeze? Shit. Is there a breeze at all <laughs> down here? Uh, no, the air is very dry. That doesn't seem to be any, like, barely any airflow at all. Oh, it's like stale, fishy air? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking. It's it smells like ass. I like a Soho brothel. Like, every time you breathe in, you can almost, oh. you can almost just, like, taste. Taste it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. This is so brothel. <laughs> so lucky she doesn't have to breathe. Uh, I guess you're right sound? then, because Lazarus said any, right. Any sound from either way that might influence our decision making here? Uh, make a perception check. 
That's bad. It's like 13. Wait, 12. Nice. The only thing you hear is the occasional drip of water just kind of like into the into the like a three or four inches of uh, water that you have covering the floor. I think we should go right. Why? Because we we'll stand here making a decision for 20 minutes to end up going right anyway, so fuck it. Well, I think we should go left. Why are you being contrarian? Well, let's go right. Is there then. anything to tell these two tunnels apart, Dutch? I'm like, is that there... They seem to just kind of footprint. naturally be formed. Uh, no footprints oh. because the floor is hard rock and there's water covering everything. No How to bring marks. a session to a standstill? I start right, walking. Right. I start walking right. All right. Fine. Thank you. Go right. And if it's left avenue, you can lord over me for the next day. <laughs> Oh, that is not a long a amount day? of time. Well, something else will happen. So, a day is more than enough time. A lot happens in Leo. Right, are we going to check the traps, or are we just going to keep walking? No, I we'll mean, just they, go we'll just go. Why would they trap their own tunnels? Back. Okay. <laughs> one so one taking, trap later. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right, you start walking, and it's about... Um... <sighs> 5, 10, 15, like about 50 feet, and then you get to another choice where you can either go left, right, or straight ahead. Oh, fuck. We have oh. to go right. We have to go right. We have to go right. We, we have to go right. Logic dictates it. No, wait. No, 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 no. Right, Let's ask right. Celeste where the fucking trident is, and maybe that will help. Um, pretty much like a, like, like a little north, northwest. So that way. <laughs> no, it's, and she'll, be point, left. she'll kind of like point between the exit that goes, the path that goes north and the path that goes left. It's so like right between it. Like, oh, so not right? Anyway. Yeah, of course it fucking would be. <laughs> Alright, straight we'll go, or left? We go straight. We go straight ahead. Uh, straight. straight. Yeah. Alright. Off you go. Uh, you walk right. about 50 foot straight ahead to meet a dead end. That's another one. <laughs> That's a okay. big no, 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 no. Oh, oh, check. What's in this dead end? Uh, You want to look around? Yeah. yeah. Make yes, a perception please. check. Can, Can I, I make an investigation on like the straight wall that like is sure. right 26. in front of us? 26. You look around and the walls and stuff all seem to be very real. There does appear to be a dead end. But mm -hmm. you do catch a slight like shimmer coming from under the under the water. Shimmer under the water. Yeah. Shimmer like like a like light? A like, like a like a like a you see a shiny in the water, like something. Well, I okay, got I'll reach a nine down for the shiny. I'll, I'll reach down for the shiny in the water. I'll reach down for the shiny in the water, uh, and I'm you find a small, um, like opened up oyster with a pretty, pretty like like a like a pearl in it that's kind of shining, about a couple couple inches. Yeah, oh, fuck it. Pop the pearl fuck out. Fuck the oyster. Hand it. <laughs> Yeah, right there in front of everyone. I'll fuck the oyster. <laughs> I'm trying to impress Star Money, bro. I have not seen this episode of The Boys. <laughs> I, will, I will hand God. any pearls I find in the oyster to Elazrin, as that is much more his area of expertise than mine. I will. I'll give those a little look later, see what the value that's will be. Like a, like, a, like, a two in, like a two inch. And that's it. That's all we see. Correct. What did you roll, Elazrin? Yes. Oh, nine. Uh, that, 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 that there be walls, Mars. I think it's like a wall. Does it look like well, a healthy oyster? Oh, who gives a shit about the oyster? <sighs> Looks like an oyster. Make a nature check like if you want to. Well, it's probably thriving in this environment. But... Hmm. Nature? Mm -hmm. 17. Not really. Like, it just, it just seems to you like it probably kind of, like, happened to kind of get here. And has since, you know, it's not really, uh, not really, uh... It's not doing great. It doesn't look like great, something no. I'd want to cook. Cool. I'm going to start heading back and go out to the left. Path, go left. Wherever you yeah. So go left. To the left, to the left. Wait, the one that would, be a, would have been the left when we were looking at okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh my sure. god, could you imagine we fucked He's going to walk <laughs> out. He's going to turn 180. Right from where we are currently on the path. Which is left. Uh, right. <laughs> Which is left. Oh my god. Okay, We're so you going take a down right. the tunnel we didn't go down before. And uh, when you take that right turn, 
you seem to meet another dead end. I would like to investigate the far wall again. Uh, yeah. The far wall specifically? Uh, I don't like, I don't like to investigate walls the with the wall. Wall. I, I the far want the far wall. wall. I want the far wall. Okay. Fuck you. I will do the other wall. Okay. What do you mean the other wall? There's at least three walls in a dead end. I'm investigating one of those other walls. All right, you did the right. Natural 20. Left. Okay, I'll do the right. Far wall is a wall, bro. I fucking hate it here! This is a stupid <laughs> game! It's so okay, stupid! On the, on, on the, the right wall is a 25. Wall. Right wall is 25. Okay. There's a 26 in total. No. 20 summon total. What, what were you trying to say, dude, before Corbus started fucking crying? Left wall <laughs> is a 15. Left wall is a 15. Uh, appears to be just a yeah. wall. Right, right wall is a 25. She said to what I scream. You Let's go, baby! Me. You <laughs> kind of like look around, and it oh seems that this... Yeah, Looks like a wall up until the point you touch it. Your hand just oh, goes straight yeah. through. Just, oh, thank God. I'll stick my head through. Yeah, and you just see another tunnel. You see another tunnel. Oh, and becomes solid. Hey, there's a tunnel over here. <laughs> <laughs> just goes, he just decapitated and goes solid again. <laughs> and that's how Jax dies. It had to happen. Soko, your character stood for too long. <laughs> yeah, this is a I'm, it's like a record, I'm, I'm right? almost 40 sessions reference? past due. Not true. Uh, but yeah, you find this in the tunnel <laughs> hidden by some kind of like illusory rock wall. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll walk on through. Okay. And uh, now I want to check for traps. Make an investigation go. check. Can I cast guidance on him? Sure. 22 plus whatever that guidance does. Uh, 24. 26. 26. Uh, you don't appear to see any traps. Yeah, ain't no traps around me, boys. Okay. <laughs> That's for damn uh, sure. You walk for another like like fifty to sixty feet until you get to another choice, left or right. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, I look to Celeste. Does she still have it up? Uh, yeah, this is getting no. closer. That way, and she'll point like toward like right. she'll she'll point the right point towards the right. Nice. Uh, yeah, the right. Right is right. And as you kind I of mean... like emerge from that tunnel, you look left and you can see you peering back into that chasm room that you started. So the, you're essentially now going up what was the left way when you initially um, had the first choice. I punch hurts. a Lazarin. What? <laughs> I punch a Lazarin. Are you being serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you roll a fucking hit, you prick. <laughs> roll to hit? Yeah, fuck you yeah. then. <laughs> Nine, natural 19. Get fucked. Fuck. Well, how much damage am I taking? I don't whatever his strength know, modifier is. It's whatever your well, strength modifier is. My strength is. modifier is plus two, so. so two plus damage. Three. You go ahead and take two it's damage and a strength. bruised arm. It's one plus oh. three. Oh, for fuck's sake. Three oh, damage. Okay. I go. It's the. Oh, I said you could make fun of me, not hit me, for fuck's sake. Listen, I was right. I told you we should have gone left. You want me to distract you? No. <laughs> does, this, does this mean that if you're also wrong about it being left, then we get to punch you? I will stab you. <laughs> means a Lazarin can punch me. I don't know about anyone else. Can I punch you? Am I punching anyone else? Celeste. means a Lazarin can punch you? Yeah. Okay. Can a Lazarin give the punch to someone else? To no, don't. No. It Let's has just to be... keep moving. This is going to then. disguise himself as me and be like, it's me and Lazarin, and then just punch him. You know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> as we move it's on, I, just, I, signed, I signed a kiss. I bet Davian would let Celestia punch him, and I bet he'd like it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, punch is strong. I, I don't know about a punch. He's more, he's more of a step. <laughs> Do I recognize him? He's more of a backhand, lap, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, you guys are... Uh, no, you wouldn't. No. Discipline. None of them. Going up the path... Okay. Left. And eventually, you get to another choice. Right, left, or straight ahead. While, while like Celeste, on this if it's still wall, look at Lazarin. Huh? I said I look it, at Lazarin. I look at Celeste. Celeste will say, um... I bet you straight ahead. I think it's straight ahead. Oh, I fucking know it. <laughs> Why don't we let Davy and choose? Straight ahead we go. Lead the way. I ho. Should head. Yep. Uh, head. Walk the alongside a I hate this. What is happening <laughs> right now? I don't know, but 
I hate I hate this man. I don't want to know. I'm gonna. Uh, I hate palm this him. man. I'm gonna palm him <laughs> one of my brass knuckles. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? I give it this look, and like, are your brass knuckle? Are your brass? Are your brass knuckles like kind made of for made, his hands? Yes. made for your hands? Yeah, because Jack's custom made them. But... I custom made it for him. So they are like super loose on my fingers. <laughs> Unless you have baby hands. Like, Brooks doesn't have fucking saucepans for hands. Yeah, but he no, has but pretty like, fucking Brooks, meaty work. Brooks, Brooks has worked, meaty you know, worker cal- hands. Cal- he's worked cal- the forges, hands. man. He's, he's worked forges. Hands. This is a man who, like, has worked retail his life. And is like, you know, I'd, say, has, like, I'd say Brooks' hands are He has koi hands, okay? I literally have hands. Like, like, usable by a Lazarin chiller. still fit. Yeah, I know. It's still just like, and right, I kind of just keep it in my pocket. Anyway, I like, kind of like rattle on your ahead. fingers a little bit. Yeah. It was straight ahead, didn't we? Straight ahead. Yeah. That's what Star uh, said. You walk about 30 feet before it seems that this is also a dead end. Yeah. We've I'm been still rubbing walls. I want I the far wall. I'm rubbing wall. Left wall. Make investigation checks. Start rubbing the floor. <laughs> oh 17. God, I'll, check, the far I'll, wall. I'll check the far wall this time. Oh, no, you're no, on the far I said far wall. I'm on left wall. 17 for the far wall. Appears to be just a wall. Some right wall. 18. Fuck. Appears to be just a wall. Fuck. <laughs> what about the floor? Is, wait, is left wall ceiling? Wall? I, yeah. I've done the floor. All the walls seem to be, be the far wall. All uh, the walls seem to be walls. Investigation, you said? Yes. 21 for the floor. Floor seems to be a floor. Can well, Celeste still feel it? It's, it's that way. And she'll point like kind of like slightly towards the left of the end of this corridor. Is the corner a wall? Yes. Does it look like does it look like there's anything on the walls that like seems like they could be <laughs> an identifier? And it would look oh. like just a wall. Huh. Celeste, can't you like shape the earth and we could just walk straight that way until we don't yeah. know how far we can go with that, but uh, I could do like okay. five feet cubes Let's at a it. time, but it's not like it's gonna tap me out of resources uh, or anything. I can just keep repeating it. Sounds good to me. Might as well. Considering that Wait, this far... maze is like magical, I don't think it's gonna work, but you can try. Wait, it's how magical. far away? Huh? Well, well, we found that one fake wall, I guess. There was a fake wall. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, find yeah, find that's not the start. maze being magical. That's just one wall. No, it didn't get better. Start, it just looped round. It was just. Anyway, yeah, just and she'll start to, she'll begin to cast Mold Earth, and after four casts, that means that there's like 20 foot, like, just gap yep. taken away, Fucking hell. Uh, and you just kind of like... I'm gonna have to crouch through. You kind of like, leak into another tunnel. Ugh. We're all gonna have to crouch through, no one's under five foot. I know, but I have to like, really crouch. Um, well there's another tunnel here. Let's all just go start, through. I start crawling through. I bet you that's what the left tunnel went to. Um, okay. And she like kind of slides <laughs> down. And eventually you make your way into a larger chamber. Um Kai has a fucking ridiculous passive perception, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You you can so- see that at the end of the chamber there is a door, an actual door this time, not just like a like a doorway, but an actual door. Okay. Um and you can hear from behind it, just, just, um, which you, because of your ridiculously high passive perception at the moment, um, understand as Aquin, and you pick up, when's the last time they fed the beast in a chasm? Because I'm not doing it this time. Last time it almost ate me, it's your turn. That's what I tried to eat Onu. I had to cook Onu fast too, so. <gasps> it's picky. It's an underwater Sorry. dragon. Hey, Crap. I will uh, both of my hands and just be like, no thanks. Well, behind the door there are more fish people, and they were talking about feeding a beast in the chasm. Fantastic. Yeah, it comes as no, no. surprise. Is there like a gap? I feel like, I feel like we can't expect that, that, but good to know. Don't go in chasms. Wait, are we doing this? Are we, hold on. Have we been? Have we had like a reanimated? Yeah, nope. the entire Sahuagin time. Sahuagin followed nope. us the whole time. No, he never no, did no. it. No, he okay. didn't do it. Okay. Sad. 
I have a specific way how I want to do it if I do it. So, nope. So do we want to go through the door, uh, or do we want to try a different Well, path? we have to. We have to get the piece, right? So... Wait, is it what you're saying door? is it's killing time. Uh, well, not exactly right behind this door, but it's in that direction, yeah. Is there well, a gap underneath the door at all? Yeah, there's like a small, like, 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 a, like an inch that you can like... Kind of like, like. Oh, just an inch? Yeah. You will have about um, six okay. seconds to get I, your I have an idea. I, mm. I have sleep grenades. I could maybe mm. toss them one in. I, that just like I feel like sleep grenades. Then we shut the door and then it puts them to sleep and then we just mind. kill them. I feel like. Oh, no, but it makes it easy be... so we don't waste resources. We waste one yeah, grenade, they fall asleep. We that, kill them. Surely that's a waste of resources. We just want to. Like, I could just no. beat them to death if it's two of them. I mean, I'll surely we want to save sleep grenades anything. for people we need alive. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dutch. They just work like the level one sleep spell. Correct. Right? Yeah. Um, how, do, how does a grenade just... put people to sleep? I don't know. I, I was going to take one apart at some point and try to figure oh. out how it works, but oh. I didn't want to risk putting myself to sleep, so well, I just kind of left it as it is. I was about to say, the, of speaking. I was about to say all grenades are sleep grenades, technically, aren't they? In some way or form? Yes, well, Brooks did try to use one on himself. <sighs> she just like, looks at you both. Okay, anyway. Uh, and so I'm gonna open the door, toss one in, and then close it. I feel like it's yeah. Hard. Just, just let him do it. Well, let's how just, wide let's... is the doorway? Uh, it's just your average door. So like five whatever, foot? whatever the fuck okay. that is, five, five feet. Foot. Yeah. yeah. Throw the grenade in. We shut the door. We open it. If any of them aren't asleep, I'm just yeah. We kill them. Beat the fuck out of them. And if they try come out, I can block the door with a bonfire, and then they'll have to run through a bonfire to get to us. I mean, I was sounds good to me. I was just gonna walk in that room, but I think no matter what we do. Alright, I wanna try and creep towards the door. Okay. And then I wanna quickly open it, pull a grenade, toss it in, and shut the door. Okay, let me quickly have a look, she. Actually, what, do I need more stealth? How much health do they have? Do you need... I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm need looking. to roll. I'm, I'm gonna have to roll, but. Yeah, just 5d8 uh, if it's level 1 sleep. Yeah. So roll 5d8. Roll stuff to walk up. Sleepy. Uh, nah. They're like, are, they're like having conversations, so they don't really hear anyone walking on the other side of the door. Okie dokie. Then up that. Oh my room. god. So the lowest I rolled was a 4. Okay. <laughs> That's 33. Only 10. Yo, that's the sex number. What, 33 is the sex number? <laughs> is that yes, when you sir. finally plan to get laid? Okay. Uh, you, oh, toss yo! a, you, you toss the nade in. So. And as it lands, you just hear like a, 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 lot of, a lot of... <laughs> uh, as the grenade doesn't explode, but you can see some like like dust residue kind of like escape from under the door. Uh, and you just, it's its followed by by hearing just a poof, sound, just, just a very dull, like, crash sound. As After that, the though, shut. the door swings the door open. Huh? I want to cast Create Bonfire in front of the door when he pulls the door shut. Okay. Sure. <laughs> the powder okay. rigged lights. So you, oh, there's a, a bonfire the in front of the door. The door explodes. swings open, and they see the bonfire, and there's just, yeah, there's, there, there's just a group of these, of these, Sahuagin, uh, that are just ready to clap your cheeks. Uh, roll some initiative. <laughs> How many is there? It's hard for you to tell at this point. I hate this game oh. so oh. much. Okay. I got a 17, but it's on the floor. Do I, need to I have zero it? initiative. Yes. You reroll oh. things that fall off your desk. We've always done that. Don't give me that shit. Uh, I had a <laughs> yeah. fucking seven, uh, natural 17. I'll see you guys next combat. <laughs> On the upside, if you're last in initiative, they might all be dead, meaning you don't have to move and take damage. True. But they can move and kill me. True. Fact, the old man isn't the target. I could just thunder wave the room and fuck them all up. Well, no, you can't because you're going last. I know. 
I can find a way to remove like, all up. Literally having a shit I initiative could find is a way so bad. Fuck them all up if I have, my, if I bothered to attune to my hand axe. I can make it so you why guys. Why haven't you attuned to okay. that yet? Wait, why? Because when did you attune two min slots? Because I have better shit. You have three attunement slots already. I have a fucking uh, amulet of health, the amulet of the drunkard, and my lockstone. Oh, damn. You've been out here with full attunement slots, me you know, out here you, with my man out fucking items. hiding all the loot. <laughs> I've got two yeah, what the fuck? No, sorry, I don't need to be attuned to one of those amulets. I'm attuned currently to the amulet of health, which I bought, the stone of good luck, which I bought, and the ring of obscuring, which we found, and I said, does literally anyone else want this? And now you're hogging the loot. I'm plating. I'm just now finding out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I have. He's, loot, he's loot hogging. He's loot hogging. Uh, hey. to be known, what, what, what a loot hogging! Guys, guys, guys initiative. initiative, initiative, please. Uh, twenty or more. I got twenty-four. Twenty-one. Twenty-seven. Jesus. Twenty-seven. Yeah. He has a plus eight. Oh, you have plus nine. Yeah. What the? Yeah, okay, so twenty-seven for Davian. Who else was about twenty? Twenty-four. Yeah. Twenty-four. I also have a twenty-four. Which one of you has a high dex? Me, I think. Probably. I'm How 19. does rolling a 21 mean I go shitting like 4th or 5th? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I have a natural... Uh, sorry, I have a total of 17 and I'm going 2nd to last, I think. Uh, I have a 0 and I'm going every, last. Is that everyone above 20? No, 20 I also have a 21. Yeah. 21? Jeez. That's what we're saying. They all... dex is the last one I mean, my dex is 19. Yeah, my dex is 14. Okay. What about dicks? Uh, fucking what about Hawthorne dicks? and Chip. <laughs> what about dicks? <laughs> what about dicks? No one cares about Hawthorne. You know that guy that hangs around with us, Dixie? Guys, relax. Almost. Uh, I'm trying to fucking wrap my head around this fucking initiative order. Can we stop waffling for like two seconds? Thank you. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> 15 up. to 20, anyone? 18 Seven. for Hawthorne. 17 for Chip. 17 for Brooks. <laughs> Familiar guy. First. Fucking familiar. Which is the higher desk? The desk? Dex. Uh, this is the bigger dick. A little bit chip or bro. Can you guys fucking can you shut up for like two seconds, Ethan? Jesus Christ! I'm trying to get my fucking thoughts out. Fucking hell. I have, a, I have an 18 deck. And he's still waffling. <laughs> you asked who has the higher deck, so I answered the question. Lose. Shut the fuck up. That <laughs> just like a Dutch just switch from being like angry to be like <laughs> instantly. Oh. <laughs> What's she what's she upset? A or B? B. 13. 13. Who asked? 13. Oh my god, Ethan, who asked? <laughs> fuck. Oh, oh nice. god, okay. Oh fuck. Um Right, Brooks. I'm not okay. You guys are fucking assholes. <laughs> uh chip. And then uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Anyone I'm not else playing. hasn't gotten their fucking initiative turn yet, because I lost track because people are Zero. Talking. <laughs> Did you miss a turn with zero? <laughs> you should be like one before. Isn't it? Zero! Yeah. Is that not one you got to get that? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch finding like a different page in the notebook to write Jax's initiative on because he's just gonna fucking forget it anyway. <laughs> he's just gonna write Jax dead anyways. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I had a heart attack. Is that everybody? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. Um, the Davian, you can go first. Okay, really? All of you. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's crazy. All right, so give me the lay of the land. We're in a room, there's a door, they're all through the door? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So again, you can see like two of them, but the rest of them, you have no idea where in the room they are because there's two of them blocking your view into the room. <clears throat> is there any way hmm the ones that I can see though they are inside the room yes yes I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna hunt his mark the left one sure and I'm going to fire a thunderclap arrow at him okay um through the doorway now real quick although the thunderclap arrow cast the thunderclap is he gonna take damage from the hunter's mark as well let me quickly have a look at where it is written it's deal an extra 1d6 whenever you hit it with a weapon attack so 
I'm pretty. Wait, let me check the thunderclap arrow. Uh, hit with a weapon attack. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the way these thunderclap arrows are designed, because it's kind of like an area of effect thing, right? So, so I don't the, have to roll to hit him. So the idea of that arrow is that you it, it lands somewhere near them, and anyone nearby the arrow and where the impact is just it has to roll the, okay. the, the same so, throw. Okay. So I don't have to roll to hit. No. Because okay. it's, it's, it's the thunderclap is a saving throw, right? Like. Uh, uh, yeah. Sure? yeah. Yeah. So they just roll the saving throw for the thunder clap. Yeah. All right. Well, all creatures within ten feet of that guy need to make a fifteen DC con saving throw. Con. Ten. Thirteen, twelve, eleven. So none of them save. All right. Two D eight damage, baby. Uh, eleven points of thunder damage. And they are pushed five feet back and fall prone. Oh shit, okay. Yeah. Alright. Damn, that fucking there's just a fucking pile up going on behind that doorway now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh okay. Anything else? Um how far am I from the door? Uh assuming that you are at like the beginning of the chamber that you found after the tunnels would be 30 feet away from the door okay now i'll stay put okay and uh, there is a bonfire directly in front of the door okay dragon okay so there's a there's a pile up situation happening. yeah there's just a lot of like shit happening at like the doorway but all inside yeah. the room that you are not in and there's like a, there's a bonfire blocking your way there's a lot of shit going on right now the bonfire blocking my way is what's the problem here. <clears throat> I don't want to get stuck. Does bonfire on. affect people as soon as they enter its space? Is that yes. how that works? Yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah. You, if you wanted um, to enter the room, you would have to go through the bonfire. Yeah, yeah. How far through into the room are they in feet? Like right there. Oh, right there. Um, I'm just going to throw... How many of them are in my inventory? How many do I have? I have 10 of them. Okay. I'll just go ahead and throw two more darts. Because fire scare me, fire bad. Um, at yep. Whoever's closest. Uh, uh, those are ranged attacks, so you would technically have disadvantage on the three that are prone. So you can, but now that these three are prone, you can see that there's people like further into the room yeah. that you can probably try and hit. I'll yeah. do those. There are they within twenty feet or sixty feet? The ones further in. Uh, that would be sixty. Okay, so I, I have disadvantage then. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the first one with disadvantage. Oh. Natural 20 with disadvantage. <clears throat> oh, okay. So the first one is 25 to hit. Yes. Oh, it's a fine. My D4. It's fallen to the bottom. Hang on. There it is. Eh. Okay. <laughs> so the first one is nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Dart, flick it at their forehead, and then flick another dart at the same one. That's not good. That's a much more like disadvantage. Uh, that's for a total of 12. 12? Yeah. That just hits. Hey! I was just going to say with the default disadvantage, you might as well just throw the ones on the floor. See if you can finish them off, right? Oh, true. Well, I Doesn't matter now, though. Okay. Oh, true. Uh, and that's for uh, seven points of piercing damage on the other, uh, on, this, on the same one, because I threw both darts at the same target. Okay. Yeah, you chuck two darts at uh, one of the Sahu again. You can see through the doorway. One of them like kind of lands like in his like the, the middle of his chest, and the other one just kind of like in his like side, and he's kind of pulls him out and just chucks him to the floor. Man, they really threw the door open. And just got fucking blasted, dude. Like <laughs> yeah, they did. immediately, just like boom, like Does three people the on the floor. It's crazy. No, no but he just showed it. He's he is about three quarters of the way through the cake. <laughs> you, might uh, well you might as well finish you it. You literally man. have eaten 75% of that cake. You might as well finish yeah. it. Man. Oh, God. Don't finish, finish it. it. Finish <laughs> it. Stop enabling so me, you fucking so asshole. Bad. Right. That's my right. turn because cool. I don't want to use any of my bonus actions right now. I, I kind of want to save my key points. I feel like these guys are squishy for a reason. So. <laughs> uh, Kess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna buy an Eldritch Blast it, <laughs> one of the closest ones. Uh, 
Uh, they're all the prone. ones that would be standing up then, right? Because there's three of them just knocked yeah. prone in the fucking doorway. Okay. Oh, I'm Are you fucking it. crying? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Belle? <laughs> She's been watching me eat my cake and call me a fucking freak in DMs. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> What do you mean I'm eating my cake like a normal human? What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> no, 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 eats an entire cake in one sitting. <laughs> yes, I do! I don't know, man. <laughs> you can put your spoon in your mouth like it's like flat <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that, that's. What? It's so weird. Quiver, do it, what pussy. Quiver eat. unhinges his Eat that cake. cake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you eat cake like a cup. <laughs> First of all, why yeah. do you eat cake with a spoon? Why do he looks like a sexual act? <laughs> you, do you know what you look like? What is you happening? look exactly like the number one. The I don't have a cake, cake for. In the Matrix when she I don't have a cake, cake. for. Just eat yeah. it with yeah. a regular fork. For for Two. Cake, all my like, forks are fucking fork. washing up. What the fuck is a cake fork? It's a small fork. I don't have a cake fork. I only have salad forks and fish forks at the moment. It's a real thing that you can. Oh my maid hasn't washed the cake. Two, I'm Eat the eat fucking it. cake. Two, I'm for a teaspoon to eat it with, because it's just nice and smaller. And then the icing on the cake is getting stuck in the back of the spoon. I want to eat the icing bit. So if you eat the back of the spoon, the best thing to do that is to the spoon off stuff. So I'm fucking coming in here. Right. Well, I'm not being shamed for my cake eating habits, okay? We're out here trying to play D&D. Meanwhile, this guy's tongue in a spoon. Fuck, I get Try to get all the cake, okay? That's like fucking. Because I'm not doing that slowly. I'm just eating the cake. This is really fucking weird. Look at me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you want from me, man? I'm going to put like that fucking cake away. But. All it took was a piece of cake to. Oh, my God. Damn, dude. It's skin. Oh, yeah, now he's getting undressed. He's cake. Oh, damn. Why didn't you just say that? I told you in her turn. This is what Quiver does at my free cans. He just eats cake and slowly takes off his clothes. Why cake you didn't wash up the floor? Right. Anyway. Bell. Please roll it back. I swear to God. Oh, what the bing bing is happening now? We're fucking having a mental breakdown about Koiba eating a cake, dude. That's how bad it got. Oh my god. 22 and a 19. Yeah, it's... They both hit? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I need to go back and clip that entire fucking thing, dude. Holy fuck. I was thinking about how I'm gonna edit it. There's like a whole lead up. <laughs> Everyone has a straight combat. <laughs> this combat, I'd be like, why are they highlighting this combat and it's just halfway through me freaking out about cakes and you guys <laughs> losing your cake? Fucking shit, dude. Uh, 12 for the first one mm -hmm. and 3 thunder. Okay. And 10 for the second one. Oh, wow, that's exact, exact lethal. There you go. So you just yes. blast well one of the guys further into the room with two Eldritch Blasts. One of it just blows an entire fucking hole in its torso where its heart's... Where, where you would assume its heart to be. Just completely blasts straight through it. And the other one just blows a hole into his, like, lower side. And he just, like... <laughs> collapses dead. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> I need, uh, man. <laughs> I'm tired. I can go to bed. <laughs> Is that your turn, Cass? Maybe you should yeah. get some cake. That's it. All right, Koiba, can you put the cake down for two seconds and have a turn? <laughs> you got my fucking turn, dude, is it? Dude, it's your turn now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, you freak. Um, right. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, shit, right. <laughs> shit, dude. So they all in that... Is anybody up close to them? Like, who's an ally? Like, right no, up in the range of a cake for? No, not yet. Everyone has to use range Fucking drop it, dude. Uh, then I will fucking moonbeam right in the fucking doorway again. <laughs> Does this use your spell slots? Yeah. Not a lot of them. Oh, fine. I won't fucking use one then. Fuck it, I'll sacred flame them. They die fucking... so- they die okay. so easy. Uh, would you yeah. like to target one you heard of those that evil prone? Laugh. Because they'll probably have disadvantage on their deck saves, right? Yes, I will. Is that how prone works? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> fine, I'll do that way. 
Yo, you can go to Monster Hunter's Uh, that is a natural two, so it's gonna be a fat yeah. null. Fails. That takes seven points of damage. Okay. Looking quite hard oh. off that one in particular. Anything else you wanna do? And then I'll, f I'll fucking have an aneurysm, I don't know. Uh, Way no. Have Way have you. That is, that is a little too, thank you. Okay. Uh, Kai. Uh. uh I'll cast Foreign Whip and just smack the first one I can see. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Make a, make an attack. Do you want to take this advantage and hit one of the ones on the floor, or do you want to uh, just see... What's the range on your Thorn Whip? Uh, just 30 feet. Yeah, you'll be able to like walk up towards the bonfire and just kind of whoosh, further into the room, yeah. Okay, I will do this. So, uh, so I can hit like, one, that's, one that's standing. Okay. Uh, or I won't, because that's a, a two to hit. A two to hit total? Damn, yeah, that's a, that's a no. <laughs> uh, what is it? I rolled a two. Hold. Brain. I think I just lost the last two brains as I had. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, it's it's a ten total, never mind. Still oh, okay, 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 okay. Still, still, still... still doesn't hit, though. Yeah. Uh... Try that, and then just step a little bit to the right, so I'm out of uh, out of uh, out okay. of the doorway. <clears throat> Absolutely, and that's my turn. That's my turn. Uh, Celesti. <laughs> um, what is it? Oh, what is this? This looks this looks, this looks fun. <clears throat> Celeste is going to cast Wither and Bloom. That was a cool spell. You <laughs> good? <laughs> no, I'm being bullied. Uh, yes, she invokes both death and life upon a 10-foot radius sphere, sensed on a point within range. Each creature in that range needs to make a constitution saving throw, uh, taking 2d6 necrotic damage on a failed save. This guy eats. So she's going to center it on the pile of, of three prone individuals. I'm just gonna make them rot, really. So that's a con save for that one, that one, that one. What's Celeste's save DC? 15. They all fail. So they all take <clears throat> seven points of necrotic damage. Which you can just see that one of the uh, one of the uh, creatures, Sahuain, whatever the fuck, Sahuagin, um, that was already knocked prone, its body be just begins to rot away in a very fast speed uh, until the point where it just half decomposed, like he's he's done, he's gone. And that is Celeste's turn, I think. Yes. Um, <clears throat> this guy would have a turn, but he got put to sleep, so he is still sleeping in the back of the room, uh, which now makes it Thorn's turn. Okay, um, are they both up? Oh, however many are up. How <laughs> many other There's, rooms are distracted? <laughs> one of them is asleep, uh, five of them are still alive. <laughs> okay, I'm well, six of them is the asleep one. I'm going to shoot one of the ones that is not asleep. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, that's a, like, <laughs> 14. 14 hits. What? Okay, <laughs> one piercing damage. Make a constitution saving throw. Let's go, dude. Oh, dude. <clears throat> uh, 13. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, fucking hell. Brooks. Gonna fuck it. I mean, right, so one of them's asleep. Mm -hmm. There's a bonfire in the fucking doorway. Mm -hmm. I don't really have ranged options. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste my last rage. Mm -hmm. There's how many are right next to the fire? Uh, two prone. Who else is within five foot of the fire? If anyone. 
Sky, I believe. This guy walks up to pull Rip into the room. Uh, <clears throat> Kai did say he walks away, walk so you probably, you probably won't be within five feet. No, 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 never mind. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just check something. I will be as quick as I can. You good, you good. I believe the highest alcohol content of anything I have is whiskey. Oh, God. So I'm going to pull out a bottle of whiskey and fucking eat it onto the bonfire next to the two prone guys. Oh, dear. Oh, my oh, God. Boy. Okay. <clears throat> cool. I'll say these guys will have to make a deck save but with this advance because they're prone. Yeah, I mean, it's a natural one. The other one... Uh, natural five. So whatever the save would be, they're not going to fucking make it. Um, How much I mean, damage does a makeshift Molotov cocktail with whiskey do? Shall we just say that we make this, you know, you, you've kind of like made your improv alchemist fire. Improv sure. alchemist. Whiskey's much more expensive, I think, than alchemist fire. So this... Uh, Actually, this one's kind of, it's kind of shit, dude. Hold on. Alchemist fire is what, a D4 or something? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, Alchemist uh, fire is, is cheap, <clears throat> is light damage because it literally. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm just looking at the Beyond people that have made like their own made uh, Molotov cocktails and uh, they list it as 1d10 damage. So roll a d10. Okay. I think I've used a D10 as Brooks this entire campaign. Uh, that's six fire damage, I guess. Six fire damage, right? They're both <laughs> prone on fire, screaming. One of their boys has already fucking been been rot to death. They're not. These two on the floor in particular are not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Is that considered an improvised ranged attack? Yeah. So it's considered an attack. Yeah. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna jump over the fire, flurry blows. How high is the bonfire, Duke? Uh, so if I can't go over, it's I'll a five foot through. cube. Five foot if cube. If I can't go over, I'll go yeah. through. Okay, yeah, you'll, you'll uh, take the damage. It's a deck on... save if you want to go through. Yeah, let's make a deck save to go through it. Uh, I don't have anything. To give well, you, you can go through it regardless, just a deck save just depends if you take damage or not. Yeah. Generic decks. I'm pretty good at these. Uh, not seven for fifteen total. Danger sense help at all? Oh, fifteen is the DC. I don't have danger on. sense yet. Right, <clears throat> fifteen is the DC. So yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you just okay. burst through the fire. Uh, so you see now, like by your feet, there's two on fire currently uh, creatures thrown on the floor. There's one like in the back corner that just seems to be fucking fast asleep, and then there's. Uh, one, two, there's three more kind of like making their way towards the door. Making their way towards us <laughs> and then these two guys just on the floor? Yes. Uh, fuck it, man. I've got Flurry of Blows, Bop Bop, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna kick both the dudes in the floor in the head. <laughs> okay. With advantage, because they're prone. Okay. The first one is a natural 14. It's. And the second one's a nat 20. So, uh, the first one... Yeah. Uh, I'll leave you... I'll, I'll save you the math, because they both had one HP, respectively. Okay. <laughs> so, they, uh... Yeah, you just fucking... You put them out of the misery. They're burning... You just, you just curb stomp both of them and they just wipe my shoes off on the back of one of them. Pretty much, yeah. And then. They turn. Bonfire how much disappears. movement have I used right now? Sorry? How far have I, how far have I traveled? To get into that room, 25 feet. 25? Yeah. If you weren't like with, all with the way at the back. Okay. So through the door, I'm going to bring the bonfire down as well. Okay. With those guys dead. Um. No more bonfire. How far, how far away no are those guys? Uh, like 10 foot into the room. 10 feet. Is there a door on the other side of the room? Do I see anything in this room? Uh, yeah, you see this room. Hold on. 
Um, in the center of the room, you see a crypt uh, covered in lit blue candles that emanate a blue flame. <laughs> um, and you do also see that there is a doorway uh, like straight ahead of the door that you just walked in from. Well, I flurry of blows, so I get extra movement because I'm a drunken master. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's another 25 feet I can move. So I'm just going to walk through as nonchalantly looking at these three dudes after I've curb stomped their mates and walk out the other door. You're going to walk through the room and walk into what? what's next? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to then shut that door oh. and use it as cover. <laughs> Uh, to 25, 25, oh, uh, uh, no, you're not gonna make that. How far's the room? Uh, from the door where you are at right now, it's a 40 foot distance oh, to the door. Okay. But never mind. You're I guess I'll run at the homies. Okay. Probably for the best. <laughs> I wanted to try and grab some cover, but if not, the best place to be is in the middle. Next to the crypt with the blue candles on it. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Chip. I don't like when you like throw that little detail in there. That way, like that's gonna be important. What way? What are you talking about? You're saying this script has blue candles to match the atmosphere of the blue crystals. Yeah, you're, you're like you're very specifically like making sure he was aware. Oh, next to the crypt with the blue candles on it. I was talking about uh, Chip's turn. Chip doing? Uh, Chip will fly to and land on Jack's shoulder and just be like. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Advantage on the next oh, that's uh, inspiring. Tackle. That is inspiring. Okay. Uh, but before, there's uh, three Sahuagin that have a turn. One of them is the, is the one that got fucking darted it by Daigon. And he's going to... The bonfire got dropped, right? Yes. So he's going to walk towards the door. Did leave my melee. It never was in your melee. No, bitch. Um. <coughs> Remind me, any of you not at max HP right now? Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, it's not going to leave the room. It's going to go to you, Brooks, because you're the closest to my target. Oh. And uh, flank you with the other two. Cool. And all three of them are just going to wail on you. But because they have something called uh, Blood Frenzy, they have advantage on all oh. the attack rolls against creatures that don't, don't have all bitches. HP. So all three of them are just going to have an attack on you with, with advantage. Okay. Uh, one is a 17 to hit. Nope. One is a 18 to hit. Just. One is a 21 to hit. No. You're lying. <laughs> I'm taking away two max HP for that. Fuck you. Okay. No, I'm kidding. I've got um, them to spare, unlike Koiba. True. You take a total of... Fuck. 13 points of um, little bit piercing damage from the oh. uh, tridents, uh, which I get... Were you raging already? Nope. Okay. Then not there, all three of them are going to attempt to bite you as well. Pinky. Uh, one is a natural 20. Okay. One is a oh, double 16, so that would be a 19. Yep. And one is a natural 1 and a natural 2. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so boom. Oh, mine a little nibble. <laughs> boom. 32. Points of damage. Twelve points of uh, piercing damage. Okay. I'm that is bloodied. their turns. Jax! The time has come. He did it. I have a turn. And you have advantage it. on your next attack because of uh, the little the little parrot on your shoulder. I'm gonna hit the parrot. Um <laughs> <laughs> would, would you have advantage if you hit the parrot? Yeah, it's next attack, right? Mm. So if you decide yeah. to hit the parrot, yeah. <laughs> um Shit, now I feel like I have to just punch the shit out of something. Um, punch the shit out of something. Ha which ones can I reach? Uh, you have a 30 feet movement speed? Yeah. 
uh, you will be able to... Mm, those at the door are all dead. That guy's asleep in the far corner. And the other three are around there's Brooks. Still... So there's three of them... There's four of them alive in that room, one of which is asleep. Oh. The other three are all circling around Brooks. Uh, I'll say that with your full movement, you'll be able to just get to the one that is like that, the one that is flanking with the other two, like on the door side of the room. Okay, I'll uh, throw a couple punches at the guy. Cool. First one, thank God for advantage, is uh, twenty-four. Tit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or. 13 points of force or thunder damage. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fucking you just walk up behind him. Just punch him in the back and you can just hear its spine crack as his legs just slump and he just loses all balance and just kind of fa falls on the floor. You hear him kind of like writhe and just for a few more seconds before. Kind of hot. Um, okay, now I'm about to reach the other guys, so I guess I'll pull out my pepper box oh shit and fire at the other guy next to brooks you holding it sideways yeah nice fuck it that's a shit what was my hit with this <laughs> that's a shit Not very high 15 baby 15 yeah it hits hell yeah i need a d10 though That's. I should get a minus one. I get a minus one to the damage on this. <laughs> Six points of piercing damage. Hey, man, it's something. Some. Okay. It is some. Is that uh, and then I'm going to give him a bonus Oop. action to activate my defense field for five temporary hit points. Cool, on that. All right. All right, so right, so right. Um, cool. If that is your turn, then we go back to Davian. What's the state of affairs right now? Two more surrounding Brooks, uh, and yep. one of them, one additional one asleep in the corner of the room. The two surrounding Brooks are like in through the door, right? Correct. So I'm going to have to like move to get line of sight. Correct. I guess I I only have 30 feet of movement, so without dashing, I'm not going to be able to reach them. You'll be able right? to get to the doorway, so you'll, you'll, you'll have line of sight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll run to the doorway, and there are two of them? Yeah. How are they looking? Neither of them bloodied. Uh, I fucking hunt his marks one, didn't I? Uh, the yeah, one I hunt his mark, the one in the doorway, and then, dead. yeah. yeah. So we can think you, I can move the hunter's mark. I believe so, yeah. Um, if the target drops to zero hit points, you can use a bonus action on subsequent turn to make mark a new creature. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll use my bonus action to mark uh, one of the guys near Brooks, and I'll just the one that just got shot him, with the pepper box, or the one that didn't just get shot with the pepper box. Uh, e mm, yes, the one that got shot. Okay. Uh, that's I think a dirty twenty to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. Okay. Let me just double check that. Oh, it's actually a 21. So there you go. Uh, for 1d8 plus 1d6 plus 6, which is 13 points of piercing damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's looking rough. Uh, that man went from smiling to frowning so quick. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. Okay. Dagon. So the one that was just being a, being attacked by Davian's looking real rough, you said? Correct. Let's go finish him off just with some good old-fashioned claw swipes. Okay. No need to get the spear out. Hopefully. Oh, that's not great, but they're squishy. Um... 17 to hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in what realm at this level is 17 to hit not great? <laughs> that's well, it's because good. I have a big a plus. I meant the, the right, dice right, roll right, and I right. forgot my modifier was pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so that's a total of seven points of slashing damage on the first. Yeah, with your claw, you just you yeah. just you just tear out his throat and you just. Like, All right. Uh, and there's another one. Yes. One still, more on Brooks, three. and there's one asleep in the corner of the room. I'll go get the one. I'll go for the second attack of the one on Brooks if I can make it there. Yeah, he's, he, these are both on Brooks. So. Oh, sweet. Okay. My bad. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's a natural two. Even with my modifier, that's a ten. <laughs> Does not hit, unfortunately. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you tried. Okay. Um, bonus action. I'll do another one because I can. Just a basic. I'm gonna try yeah. to see if the sec that one hits. That's a natural twenty. There you there go. We go. All right. So that's max damage Get plus. There in the end. So it's a d6. So the max damage is six, and now I'll roll. Ish. Six. So that's seventeen total. Oh my god, okay, yeah, you fucked him up. Holy shit, he's looking very rough all of a sudden. <laughs> We're, we'll tear out two throats. Oh, well, yeah. not quite. Like not quite. Yet, so it's, it's, getting, it's close. <laughs> Almost. Uh, is that right. your turn? That's me done, yeah. All right, Kess. I'm going to some... shoot two Eldritch Blasts at the one asleep. Okay. Uh, that that does come with disadvantage, I believe, because it's a ranged attack on something that is lying on the floor. But um... That's okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So, the roll your first guy? one with disadvantage. Yeah. But if it hits, does it auto crit? Let me double check. Because I think technically sleep is unconscious, right? Yes. Mm. Um. Unconscious. Uh. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Wait. Is it all attacks that auto crit or just melee attacks? Um, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, so you you you, you don't have this advantage. Roll. That... Oh, okay. Because I feel like okay, the fact the fact that he's prone would give disadvantage, which would yeah. be negated by the unconsciousness. Okay, so it's a straight roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any attacks? Yeah, no. The, the auto crits is only with melee attacks. Melee attacks. Yeah. So it's oh, not auto yeah, I think we established that way. Yeah. It's not auto dying. crit, but you do not get disadvantage so, because cool. it evens the other out. So just okay, straight so roll. That's 23. Hits. And a. Woo! 27. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, seven. Force and three thunder. And 12. Okay. Uh, does that wake him up, Soko? I believe so, right? Taking damage. Maybe he takes damage, yeah. Yeah, so he just... <laughs> <laughs> Looking very Beautiful. fucking rough, though. Uh, right. Lazzy. Laszlo. Woo! Laszlo. Oh, fuck off. Not that shit. Uh, the one that's looking, the one that's looking, looking close to death, I'm gonna Sacred Flame him. Sacred Flame? Yeah, he's still prone, so. Yeah, fuck him. Quick save, please. Natural one. <laughs> he fell. He takes 13 points of damage. He's dead. Completely sure he's ruined. Damn. So leaves. The only one left is uh, the one on Brooks and Diagon, looking super rough as well. Ah, uh, that'll be my turn. Mm okay. And I will walk up to the one remaining and do what Kai does, which is late against uh on his finger, get some uh, green flame going and uh stay up the best. Yeah, roll on the side. Stay up, stay up. Stay up, is it? Yeah, that's uh that's uh that's uh that's a number. Oh really? That's crazy. 19 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. Roll dice, get number. So <laughs> that is... It's kind of funny how uh, there's math involved with, uh, with rolling dice. It's kind of crazy, dude. I know, right? <laughs> that is four slashing damage. Four? And yep. how much fire? Seven fire. And that'll do it. As you finish off the last <laughs> remaining uh, Sahuagin in this room, you are now left in a room with a crypt with blue lit candles on it and a doorway that leads north. But 
whatever is in the crypt or lies ahead we'll uh, we'll see next week i think because uh, it's about that time hey, yeah. whatever is in the crypt i won't whatever have is in the week. crypt it's about that time <sighs> Corby's cake crumbs <laughs> Corby's cake is in the crypt i might as well fucking eat it eat it all me no Corby's cake's in his know. fucking lap he won't, eat it on stream. he won't eat it on stream anymore. Dude, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fucking full line. I'm eating three quarters of a fucking cake. I'm gonna die. <laughs> if I, I did mean, have diabetes before. Fucking amateur hour. Yeah, what the hell, dude? Shut the fuck up. Right, listen here. Y'all. Pussy. <laughs> Y'all. This guy eats. This guy eats. Alrighty, yeah, that's gonna be it for us hey, for tonight. Really Thanks so much for being here. Where did you get cake fucking... from? Was it like your your uncle? Appreciate... It was from B and M, baby. B and M is basically luxury in Porphy. Bro, what dickhead? <laughs> exactly. Can I do my goodbye now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we, we raid profane. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we appreciate the no. frick out of you. Thank you so much uh, also to those who donated to the charity fundraiser while we were playing. Uh, that would be uh, B Big, Pixie, James. Appreciate the heckin' yeah, frick out of you. God bless. Uh, total is now at 260.27. Oh, uh, oh, man. We're doing it. We're doing a damn thing. Uh, over halfway to the first incentives, and after that first incentive is hit, that's that means every 100 there'll be more incentives. Be I'm something. pretty sure. So that's yep. well, be... it's uh, jam packed as well. It's yeah, jam packed from that from point onwards. Everything from 500 to like 3300. There's incentives. Yeah. So there's 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 someone say 3300. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, if Profane is live, we shall be doing the he old... He is live. Uh, he is room. away from his computer at the moment, though. That's fine. I still have shit to say yeah. on the uh, outro here anyway. Um, Throw it out there. If we make it to 500, I'm buying Koiba another cake for next DS. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, tomorrow, Every DS, Divinity, Divinity has a question mark. In... Divinity? I'm yeah, down, yeah, yeah. I think. Absolutely. So tomorrow we'll be here for Divinity. This week on Done. Discourse. Uh, Soko, are you available? <clears throat> um, probably not. Oops, I am I'm either open. working or doing uh, Jury D. Let so. me know whenever the next discourse is that you are available, because I do want you uh, on. I mean, if we do it like on a, like I know I usually have Wednesdays off. I want this week because of jury duty. Okay. But Wednesday is like my day off. Oh right, yeah, we can we can like maybe job. not this week, but then the one after, maybe just swap it to a Wednesday or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll let you. Okay. Because we'll I get my schedules back. like every Saturday, so. Uh, Bell. Yeah. You want to be on discourse this week? Yeah, sure. I can be on discourse this week. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else feels the call to I talk mean, about I mean, both me and Laura have not been on in a while. That's all? Laura's harder to pin down, so if Laura's available, that is true. I would take um, Laura. On. Let me find out. <laughs> as as she finds something that she can't be. Yeah, like, ah, yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good for this Thursday. Uh, yeah, you want to be... <laughs> it's you wanna do a little... Do, the, the ladies night on this course, guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just as, just as girls. The last one. Talk about our, uh, you know, because if, if, listen, you, if you play, stay, oh, listen, we'll I'll just, I'll just put on my, my best Celestia and we'll just have a little girls night, you know? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> it's just because, Yo, like, if I don't know. Cosplay outfit! I'll put on my fuck No, the main outfit is an incentive, though, for charity select. So if we raise enough money, I'll do another maid stream. It's just, so, yeah, just, you just can't wear it that. for Dungeons. I won't be there this time. The incentive, so. Yeah. So, you know, just you uh, just out there. <laughs> I love how Eva is quiet the entire time. Just hears maid outfit and he pipes up. Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right that's all he cares about raid profane artillery boom so we'll be back here tomorrow for divinity uh obviously raising money for charity select we'll probably have the we'll probably have the charity overlay up and running for that because why the fuck not um and i'll be here on thursday for discourse with uh laura and bell it's gonna be a good time yeah yeah thank you so much for watching appreciate you Catch you tomorrow, uh, and if we don't catch you on any, any of these streams, then we'll see you next week, next Sunday, for another Dungeon Select, where the, the boys and the girls of the part that still doesn't have a name, but we're just going to call them the Rack Tank fuckwits from now on. Venture further and further into this lair to find all the missing pieces of the Trident. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Have a good night. See you. See you all tomorrow. Touch smells. Profane's back. Perfect time. Du -du -du bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Du -du 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 now slowly, like, fade out. It's just like...